how the fuck are they doing mm. it? But the five minutes from Allgate East to Whitechapel was like, on your marks, get set, go. Fun house, all of fun. Yeah. So it's like a trigger in your head, just like, it's got to be, it's got to be, you've got to pepper the shit out of everything. Yeah. Killer Keller official .com. <laughs> you need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Podcast. Egotistical gear we want, but you know. Yeah, you know. well, yeah, it's content, isn't it? Yeah, it's just content at the end of the day. Um, and on that note, ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast. I hope everyone is well, serving you all right for your uh, your morning. And uh, yeah, big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk. Uh, big shout out to everybody that's got the television app. It's free fucking download. What more do you want? Get involved, get your street culture dosage every day by the daily 24 7. Yo. Uh, I'm in trouble. I'm in fucking trouble. X and 502 inside the place. Legendary graph writer, Thank UK. You. Thank you. How are you? kids. <laughs> I, did, I just didn't know where to begin. I panicked and I just was like, yo, we've already had a chat and it's just going to be one hell of a yeah, conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's hard to get me started, but once I start, I'm not an old woman. I don't stop. <laughs> Sorry, it's a sexist pun, but hey, you know. It's, it's once, you it pop, once you pop, you don't stop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> Um, where have you come from, brother? Whereabouts in the in the, in, the, um, in the town have you come originally from? Originally from Finsbury Park, but the small well today I come from Crouch End. Crouch End, just over the hill, just mm. over the hill. So yeah. I'm still keeping, I'm still in social housing. Yeah, no, listen, bro, I know. That, <laughs> Can't I afford know, them prices, bro. I know the yeah, it's pretty, pretty plush around there, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, a bush. I might be able to handle a bush. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of bush bombing from my bush that I own, <laughs> but otherwise, forget it. <laughs> uh, the hill, that hill in Crouch End is uh, one hell of a ride. Yeah, I've done that it. drunk as well. That was something. I think you wouldn't feel wrong. it as much then. No, but it would it could have gone really wrong if I recall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just thinking because yeah, wherever I come out, my eyes is like yeah, whoop, whoop. <laughs> there's no escape. Uh, yeah. But it was one of the um, earliest and easiest plots for for nicking pens. I mean, so easy. I think the place is still there. We used to go into the stock room and take Eddins. No boxes, way. Yeah, boxes. Shout out to... <laughs> <laughs> from 35 years ago. And thanks to Sub for letting me know. But wow, yeah. hold tight. See, look, we're already going in on the... Come on. The intel's real I on this just one. just kind of remember. I was like, oh, yeah. There's, there's, there's a link there. Mm. That's why, and also 7-Eleven, whenever you needed a munch. No matter where you were in London, 7-Eleven, you know. <laughs> go in, help yourself out the door, sweet. Nice. See you later. <laughs> See, see, right, look, now, now, if you guys are regulars to the show, uh, you, you'll, first of all, you'll know XL502's name's been bounded around quite a bit. But uh, furthermore, furthermore, um, we, we go down these roads fairly often, particularly of graffiti writers of certain generations. And uh, <laughs> he says, <laughs> respectfully, respectfully. That's all good, it's all good. Respectfully, of course. Um, some, uh, some have direct accounts, as it's happened to them, uh, Others are kind of maybe paraphrasing in certain terms and ideas and maybe what maybe they were thinking at the time. Maybe it's not the right date or whatnot. You are like a, 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 a diary. You know, you seem to know every account <laughs> of I each. If I was there and I know it and I, I remember it, don't ask me how or why, but I do. Possibly, well, how is that? Uh, my ocd <laughs> uh, um Possibly because I was there. I don't, you know, I don't know. But if I weren't, then I weren't, and I'm. But you know, if I know if I know the details, I know the details. But Merck can be like Merck remembers really? a hell of a lot, and yeah. from what the conversations I've had with Score, he knows a hell of a lot and remembers a lot. So I guess kind of I was also what I've rem what I don't remember. I've picked up little bits to kind of back up my information with along the way to yeah. kind of give it more. You know, depth to the story. It's been a fan, isn't it? It's first and foremost. It's just uh, and having been there. Yeah, I mean, you know, as much as I've probably written in over 30 years uh but i still love the graph scene i love the camaraderie i love the kind of the rebellion of it I, you know i love and i've got respect for i would say at least 90 percent of the writers probably even more than that just because you know i know what it's like to properly write 
Mm. You know, it's not just like buying paint, going to a legal war and do it. It's like, no, you know, if you're properly writing, you're up against it. You're up against it at home, up mm. against it out on the streets, up against it against the authorities. You're up against it and, you know, mm. and you're just kind of, I guess you're trying to scream out that you, you're you alive and you exist because mm. that's what it felt like to me. You know, that was a big thing. I mean, I, when I think back when I started, we'd already been through five years of Thatcherism, so we kind of got the gist of what that was about, mm. you know. And, Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, and... and uh, we, I just... Especially being young, you want to, you know, notice me, notice me, notice me. And I kind of guess I took that on board and mm. made people uh, put my name everywhere and made people notice me one way or another. And insanely so. Like, let's let's just without you and the handful of people that have been on the show, the, the the buck kind of stops with you guys. Like, you were the one of the earliest taggers. You were one of the first of on so many levels to. You know, you're the first person to be gripped, right? You were one of the first people to be taken to court for. Uh, yes, I I, w- I went to court. The only people I know that had been to court and probably had a custodial sentence were Coman Tilt. Mm-hmm. And I met both of them after just after they come out from serving a custodial sentence. I think Cast had been nicked a few times. Um, I think some of NLA had been nicked, but not each other. And I, I got nicked very quickly from being a toy around the flats to going out and starting to kind of hit streets, you know, further than you know your neighbourhood. Mm. Um, I got nicked very quickly um, and got nicked out on the lines. You know, that's when I had to kind of leave the big met because I was I was too hot for them. It's like, well, I can't. Much as I want to stay up here and I'm having a great time, huh. I have to put the scene mm. at, at the forefront of this, you know, because mm. otherwise I'm just going to get you all, all nicked. Farrandon was your spot, right? Oh, I love Farrandon. Love, yeah. Once I discovered how to get into Farrandon and paint Farrandon, I don't think I ever went to another <laughs> yard again. It's just like, well, I just, Which like, is a blessing and a curse in this game. It's yeah, like, I mean, yeah. you know, I just I loved it. It was like, well, you just jump on a bus and I'm there. Yeah. And we were kind of, New Wave were... Kind of Islington Angel based. As much as we we all came from the north for the bar, some of us like me and Shu, mm. um, Carl one three eight when he was in it, and when he was in it, uh, it was kind of centered around the Angel. In fact, we'd go around Noisy's house on a Friday and we'd play, we'd shoot pool and that because he had a pool table in his kitchen, which was great. Mad, yeah. yeah this... And we had you know all the buses going up and down all the way road. And we were all bus bombers, um, but Fan was just so local you could walk there. You know, so you kind of, you didn't have that whole thing of travelling through the transport system or on the transport system with bags of paint, getting off either at the stop where the yard was or the stop before or the stop after and just looking suspicious with young man, young boy or young man with rucksack, you know, youth, looking suspicious and everyone, you know, was b-boyed up yeah. one way or another, you know, you didn't, you weren't just kind of the rest of the, 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 um, the fashions that were going on, you were slightly different. You know, you either had fat laces or loose laces or no mm. trainers tied up or a belt buckle or mm. or some or a hoodie, you know, things that people weren't really wearing then, I guess. Was so the attitude of that, out. was the attitude of like the fashion, the music, the, the art form, was it as aggressive as Graf was? What, you know, you could see it all as one organism of well, a We got thing. it all together. In yeah. the, you know, we got the whole thing all together. I mean, I know that, so kind of from that generation... I wouldn't like to speak to everyone, but kind of everyone I knew got the whole hip hop package. One, they liked the music. That you mm. know, they 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 knew people who bro- who did breaking. Yeah. They maybe they 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 weren't. They certainly couldn't be rappers. Yeah. Um, so they thought well, or they were artistic. So they went and started writing. Mm. And also writing was you didn't. What did you need? You didn't need no money. You didn't need to go and buy no records. You didn't need to go and buy no turns. No nothing. Mm. You went out and everything you needed for what you were doing, you stole. Yeah. You know, it was all free. You know, the, the old five finger discount. Yeah, yeah. You know, right? Yeah, I left that. Okay, right. This shop's no good. But I'll go to another one. There's a thousand shops. No CCTV, or if the CCTV was there, it was so grainy. It'd be like looking at a picture from the 1900s, mm. you know, like the early uh, turn mm-hmm. of the century. Like, what is that? What is that? <laughs> is that even a real person? Yeah. You know, and everything was on show. Mm. You know, shops got wised up quite quickly because, mm. um, oh, what's the shop on? It was on uh, Sutton Court Road. They went from having their bunt lack at ground, ground level on the bottom shelf to, to the top shelf within kind of six months. <laughs> they got the you memo know. then. <laughs> well, yeah, because it was just going missing. And, and yeah. London got quite hot quickly. And then, 
you went out of London. Mm. But there were still, I mean, legendary paint shops like the um, Stockwell Motors. Generations of writers have been through there. Mad. And you just think, hold on, it was hot when we were going there. And it's still just turning And people yeah. still get, <laughs> how, like, you'd, you'd have, if I owned that shop, I'd have an armed guard at the door. Mm. Anyone who went in below the age of 25, I'd be like, right, up and down. And I'm following them around the shop. But people still went in there and still got pain. Mm. I mean, I did. And I, yeah. I, you know, and I know loads of people. And I know generations, or even half a generation, because writers' generations are not like yeah. generations of, of, of the rest of society. You know, mm. I mean, we were old hat, probably new wave, we're probably old hat by the early 90s when DDS were just kicking in. But that's not a generation. Mm. No, no, it's fine. It's kind of another wave. It's just like a, 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 the next, yeah, like you say, the next wave yeah, of. Yeah, it's not of, really uh, a generation. No. You know, because it's not like they were 10 years older. They were, we were like three or four years oh, older, maybe, than some of them. But Graf was quite um, all encompassing. It, You know, I mean, no one, well, I say no one, not many people had jobs. So we're all unemployed. So your full time job was going out, racking your paint, racking mm. your tools, going out on the line, bombing the line, going yards. It was a full time occupation. So. <sighs> A lot of people who were really early writers got burnt out quite quickly. So really, if I think about it, the last till kind of the early 90s was yeah. good going from sort of 85, 86 to 91, that is good 92. Going. It's I mean, just like, geez, it's, and you know, you're getting, and the more you get nicked, the more It's a career span. <laughs> well, yeah, some people would have been married for that. <laughs> like, you think, oh, and divorced. <laughs> well, yeah, married, divorced, and like, what happened? <laughs> you know, so, um, and also at the end of our um, time, or the end of my time, CCTV was getting um, better. Right, well, let's hold yeah. it there because I want to start from scratch with you. Yeah. Um, because I, yeah, I want to put this across because you're not just, it's not just about uh, graffiti, it's about BMXing, B boyisms, music collecting. You, you really, you are the archetype. You're, you're <laughs> I'm, the I'm a proper hip hop yeah. man, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I love it's fucking amazing. <laughs> I collect loads of shit. So, so <laughs> I kind of want to go back from the start and let you guide me and us through your journey and when certain things happen for you because I, I, I've never really sat down with somebody who is such an authority on knowledge and understanding. Yeah, uh, okay, yeah. Honestly, for real, like, it, it, it's, you're, a, you're, a, you're a theosaurus dictionary of all sorts of different things and I'm like, right, well, we've just got to let you go for it. So, from the beginning, where um, to begin? XL502, let's go. I guess when I first started writing I had no idea it was called writing or graffiti what was, was the date um, what was the date of that dates I would say I was probably just going into secondary school and there was still the whole two tone madness specials thing going on and mm. people I remember seeing the Wilco tags the Rolo tags anyone who's from North London would know these tags there were other tags Invader um, and there, some of them were around my school Holloway School mm -hmm. and we were writing a little bit around the school and the school desks and you know in the science lab you know, um and the stairwells, and maybe a little bit around the flats. So that was kind of my first introduction, and I quite liked it. And I remember seeing, would it be a Pentel? And it would have been a, the Pentels, which in kind of later graph times, well, they were about 15, no, not 15 mil, they would have been about 10 mil. Mm -hmm. And I remember thinking they were enormous, like 60 mil wide. That's the kind of, they, they seemed so big at the time. Mm -hmm. And then it all kind of faded away. Um, and then kind of, I guess for me, um, I was still, I was going to football a bit, but BMXing came in. I love my BMXing. And I, I got completely obsessed with it. Mm -hmm. Magazines, you know, people go, oh, what does so-and-so, who does so-and-so ride for? And I'd be like, yeah, they ride for so-and-so team and they do this part and that part. I was a proper anorak. Man. Proper anorak. Oh, man. I've still got boxes of BMX magazines at home. In fact, when... Before my dad passed away, um, he had a leak in his house and a load of them got water damaged. I'm, I'm probably a heartbroken. Like, oh, they're worth money. Like, you know, like, <laughs> I'm probably worth money. Like first editions and shit. Like, you know, oh, shit. my, yeah, my yeah. anorak shit kicking Top in again. Yeah, 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 it's like, oh, a bits and pieces. I've got sealed. Anyone knows about old school, old ACS brake levers that I had there? The first one to have the button that pushed down so you didn't have to hold on your brakes when you're doing tricks. Yo. Uh, no, 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 I've got mad shit, mad like, old Oakley grips and shit. And just fucking crazy stuff. Um, Mad. And then I was kind of getting a bit bored of that. And a friend of mine um, who wrote, eventually wrote Says, and there was um, he kind of got me back into graph, or into graph as we know it now, writing. Um, and there was another guy around the flats, um, 
he, he, he's, he's DJ Rizla, I think his name is. Okay. He, he was known as Fat Islam. He was with, um, oh, God. Oh, I can't remember anyway. He, he, there's another guy who did. And he had a copy of, um, fuck me, what's the book? Subway Art. Subway Art. And yeah. I saw that and that blew me away. But I kind of forgot about it. And then, the you know, on the November the 5th, 1985, <laughs> when Star Wars was broadcast, I happened to catch it. And how old are you? I was probably 16, so I'd left school. I was an apprentice motor mechanic, right. um, which was quite handy for nicking paint because I gave my overalls a blah, 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 quite, blah. quite late for graph. Yeah, think? yeah. When I think, when I think like, you know, like somebody's 12 and 13 years and I look at my kids, my youngest kids now, I think, fuck me, your parents, fucking hell, you mad. <laughs> like, listen, I'm like the fucking Gestapo. I'm like, where are you going? What are you doing? Get your phone. Da, 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 da. I want everything. I want to know everything. The 16 doing. would have been a kind of. Well, you know. I was working. Yeah. So, like, your mum couldn't go to me, where are you going? What are you doing? Mm. I'm like, like, I'm working. Mm. I'm going out. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? I'm going out. When you're back, when I'm back. And things were different then, you know? Like, oh, shit. Things were different then. No, society, yeah. you know. You know, I don't think you should be hanging around. No, no, there was none of that kind of shit, you know. I want to be, phone me, you got to be in the I was always fucking late, even when I had to have a curfew when I was at school, so it didn't make no difference. But I was working. So 16, you had the opportunity to be working at well, a car place. And well, you I was an apprentice get... mechanic, so, because I like taking things apart from when I was the BMX. And the people always, I remember Sub bringing his bike around to me before I even knew he was, before any of these people were writing these names. Mad. I'm fixing his bike in there, and I, just, I could strip my bike down to like the, the ball bearings <laughs> and, and rebuild it. And my bike was like smooth, crazy, because I knew you know yeah. smooth like my bike is now. But um, so you sub would bring his bike round. Well, this is before he was sub, and I didn't even I knew his brother's shoe when he wasn't writing shoe, but they weren't really people I kind of got on with in that respect. We were just a different part of the estate, hmm. and I remember. When I was still BMXing, Shu had got nicked up Holloway bus, bus garage. And he got he got beaten up by the security. But I, but I remember being outside his ass. Well, not outside his ass. His, the, his ass was up there and the balcony was here and we were down on the ground level. Mm. And going, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, he, oh Bill, I've gone round his ass. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, oh, what? Yeah, he's doing all that graffiti stuff. I was like, oh, yeah. I weren't really into it then. I was still writing another tag around the flats. Um and then I was seeing all these other tags, like Rees, um, Fate, um, uh, what was it? I was uh, Abel, <laughs> which was what she was writing, and there was Phrase, which was a sub -drive. and whatever I was writing at the time, I can't remember, and they were on all the bus stops, all the streets, all around the flats, you know, and all up on an old disused British rail yard, which was behind kind of... The Sobel, or dying opposite the Sobel, as you go, mm. it's not, it's all the housing estate now. Right. And there was other writers, that what names were there, like Doze, Robbo, um, writers from Wood Green. It this was kind of a bit so of a North early, London man. This hub. is crazy. Yeah. So we're talking 16th so, century, so... It's about 85, 86. Wow. These boys, I mean, well, I think for someone my age, you just don't... It's hard to put that into perspective, you know, like me coming in and discovering Graph, I feel like, I was late to the party by comparison. Like, that you, the names were already established, but had been established fucking ten years ago before I fucking. I guess, yeah, I mean, yeah. but you know, I felt late in respect to people like you know Kosh. I remember seeing Kosh tags on twenty nine route master route master buses conductor hello oh. on the backs of seats like no way that was you know like. Groundbreaking shit, you know, mm. and and all the shade stuff down the canal, cam the canal, shades had mm. battered, you know, not with bombing, but with big fucking pieces that would have been the size of top to bottoms or nearly whole cars, you know, mm. and the canal. When Camden was nothing but a dive, dive hole, yeah, yeah. there was no tourists going around going, oh yeah, you know, let's go and buy that. some boots or yeah. you know a t shirt or because it was it was like a bit of a flea pit, mad, you know, there was no kind of hub of. Of, of, of things going on round by Dingwalls or anywhere like that, you know, it was... So that's how he got away with doing these mad productions and on bridges and shit, you know. I don't know when... They were already there. The bake... Where the Sainsbury's is now, that yeah. was that was the old ABC bakery, but I never knew it was the ABC bakery, but I knew... I saw all the Robbo pieces on the back of it, on the black tiles mm. and all that. And, and, and I remember seeing... You know, the legendary Robbo piece that got crossed out by Banksy when it was brand new and you could get down there via the staircases, which is now gone. That's how I took my pictures of it. And all this, oh, the Otty piece on the other side and the SAS, was it SAS or SOS? I can't remember. And the Romulus pieces and all of that going back down towards, it would have gone as far as 
where the bridge goes over the canal, which yep. is Big Met tracks. Right. Which was always a way to get onto the Big Met and get in that way. Well, probably gentrified uh, Camden, in a sense. Well, it? it's, yeah. It's a whole, different, <laughs> whole different beast. I guess that, that, that changed pretty quickly. Well, it, you know what? It, it didn't and it did. It kind of took it took ages. Then once it started happening, yeah, it was uh, it was kind of over and done. It was like, what, what, hold on, what's yeah. happened here? Pop off. Mm. You know, every every shop's got a boot and <laughs> a big boot out in front of it. <laughs> where's all them, you know, flea bit record shops that you could get, mm. you know, stuff really cheap from and, mm. you know, and, and all that. Mm. Um, and I guess you know where I lived. I was quite lucky. There was in this there was a there was a core of writers, but there was a quite a under under current a core of hip hoppers. There was uh, two DJs, like DJ Def, Lee Lawrence, and another guy, as I said, RZA, mm -hmm. and they lived in the two big tower blocks, which are not your traditional tower blocks. They're kind of more like Christmas trees, <laughs> um, <laughs> and, they, and they used to blast. Music across the open space. Sound system clashes. Yeah, kind of. Um, you know, you get. I, I, I remember hearing Rebel Without a Pause and it thumping because there were three blocks, but they lived in some, and it bouncing off across. Wow. And I remember, you know, being going. Oh, what, I have to get some. I have to get some. You know, I have to get an amp. I have to get some speakers. And I was way late to the game. Mm. I mean, I remember, as I said, when I was still at school, DJ Def. Every time I saw him. Which would have been, you know, like you you break up from school early, didn't you? Like mm. e now, at Easter kind of time. And for this time, you're off revising, allegedly. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> he, every day I saw him, bag of records, under every day. Wow. You know, he knew about breaks and all this stuff. Wait, I was like, Pff. you know. It's like a whole different occupation. Oh, yeah, one, yeah one, absolutely. But, you know, he had decks. I was like, how do you afford decks? Mm -hmm. But you know, you find out later on they weren't even they weren't having their dinner at school. They were keeping their dinner money. It's like wow, stuff. Ah, love my, see, my, intellect. Oh, no, but you, you read about it a lot or hear about it. people talking. I'm like, mm. oh, I love my food, man. I can't go back yeah, dinner time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, unless I was nicking food for lunch. That's some levels of de dedication as a young person. Huh? Yeah, but also you know, on a much more grown up level, it could cause you problems later <laughs> on in life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, That's why we, problems. The, the five finger <laughs> discount is always a, always the preferred. Yeah, thing. yeah, absolutely. Um, and so it was kind of hip, and, and the first crew I really knew of was NLA, which was would have been Shu, Sub, Carl, Robbo, Rees, Carl 138, but none of them were right, well, apart from Robbo, because Robbo always wrote Robbo. Oh, yeah. Uh, when he, until he, he wrote a couple of other things, but mainly yeah, Robbo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the crew of the, of the manor. And then that's like a, that's a fucking big all star kind of uh, collective. Well, yeah, but it wasn't. It as I said, no one at that time was doing trains, mm -hmm. or no. Well, right, not no one, but no one in the surrounding area was doing trains. Who was who was doing trains at the time that you can remember? <sighs> well, by the time I'd met people, Castle was already doing Cast, loads yeah. of trains. All them big Met lot were doing trains. I know that from historically now that Czech had done a train or was doing trains in Upminster. There's other stories about people getting into the elephant castle yard. There's stories about people doing Morden. But generally speaking, people, you know, someone will correct me, weren't doing trains. Mm. Like within, or compared to give it another year, mm. and trains were getting battered. Mm -hmm. Battered, you know. So that, that's the kind of what, what I'm essentially talking about. Um, and I met another crew through, uh, through Carl. When he first took me to um, Free Corners, yeah. And that yeah. blew me. I was like, wow, what is this place? There's a bus ride from my house, you know? And it was, you know, but again, Explain another Explain what Three Corners was well, like. Three Corners was, uh, if anyone hasn't seen the book, it was just it was just wall space where people could, could peace. And and often overlooked, right? It's the, if, you, uh, if, you know, if you knew it was there, it was there. But it, yeah, it was, if you didn't know, but, you know, I only knew it because he took me there. Right. And, um, Carl took me a lot of places. So explain to it for people that may not have known, may, like it me. Adventure, it was a venture playground, yeah. but they had a massive open space, like I guess you would describe it as a football pitch, concrete football pitch, with all there along one side was the three corners. It just, just said three corners, but it was a venture playground. And then they had walls sort of... At a right angle, and there must have been spaces for at least ten pieces. You know, like there were columns and a space, columns and space, wow. um, and there was all London Giants piece down, mm. pieces down there, and uh, vinyl junkies. Um, but this was a little later on, right? This was about eighty six, right? Okay, because um, Carl used to go on these mad. So I know Carl fan of him because Carl used to go on these mad walks. Like we're going to discover, and we just walk places when we were with him, mm. like. Oh look, we found this, and yeah, oh, we found that. 
you know. I love good. those ones, man. Yeah. I love it when you discover like a, a small hall of fame somewhere you're just like, what the fuck? Are well, they? Yeah. He knew, he, this is great. How, he, was the, he was the man for that. Mm. And he knew of New Wave who, when initially it was just Amariah, Amaze 2 and Noise. And I don't know if any of them were writing that at, at the time. Um, and uh, there was some other, and then they had sort of discovered that and, that, I just I think, and then um, and then he took me to Grove. He said, "Oh, you should want to go down Labrock Grove." So I went down Labrock Grove with my mate Says. Um, we didn't know anyone. We didn't go with anyone. We just went down there, and you know the, the famous bridge that's completely different now. Mm. God knows what could have happened to us. We just hung out and we were just looking at graph, taking photos on a little one ten yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I, what kind of. Um, hit me the most was how fucking bombed it was down Gro Grove. You know, um, just just all the, especially the demo tags. Oh, shit. Fuck. Really? I mean, <laughs> from me to you, which is what? Not even a metre? Mm. He'd fit in 10 tags. It was just like, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, so ba -dum. and as much as we had a little mini beef, you know, in 87, I don't know, 87, a stupidness, but I look back and I think, you know, as a real impact on me. You know, it's not necessarily how great, and he had a great hand style, don't get me mm -hmm. wrong, but it was just repetition, 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 repetition. You know, every available service, there was a demo tag. Mad. And another one. Mad. Just, for, just, just in mm. case. Just in case you missed that one, there's yeah, another yeah, one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And another one there. And I've seen every, that as well. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you know, and you'd see all these names, like, you know, uh, that Carl had told me about, like... Um, um, non-stop arts yeah. instead of art and, yeah. and fade two and scam it was scam, scam around yeah, yeah um, so we Ice are free okay. um, Rio two who was still writing Judge um, Gunja uh, Cool eighty eight insane um, God there were so many I'm trying to think Rich Rich I think Rich was probably writing something else at the time but okay. I because I'd see I've seen I think I've seen it on Instagram Rich and Rage but I think they were writing something but I do remember the tags mm. whatever tag. He he was writing. I got. I remember seeing that. I remember seeing it when Paddington Bowl was just Paddington. It was just wasteland. And I've worked there since. It's like what what happened here? Mm. <laughs> what that like, is a city like you know. Let's not. But you know, like all these tower blocks and uh, Microsoft are there, and all these big businesses. Like you would never step foot in no, here. You know? no, no, yeah. um, and that, but that, that's 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 progress. Yeah, kind of. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, so yeah. Grove was like the Wild West. You know, and seeing the pit and everyone. I met first time I met Rush. In fact, the only time I met Rush, who was legendary for one reason or another, you know, I was I met a friend of mine who was still BMXing down there, and they had that they had the half pipe mm. or no quarter pipe under the flyover, flyover yeah. at Royal Oak. Yeah, uh, it's still there. They're, those they're still there, right? The, the I, meanwhile, yeah. No, there's there's meanwhile, but this yeah. was known as meanwhile too. This was That's kind of the end right. of my BMXing days, the the yeah. initial beginning of my graph days. Yeah. Where the two crossed over because I was going to a graph shop. Um, graph shop. There was no graph shops then. Uh, a BMX shop in Croydon for something like for bits and pieces. But uh, right. but as we were going, I was bombing the trains. How did we get there? Fuck's sake! I would be bombing the train down to wherever we got. Must have been Victoria. Yeah, that's right. It would be and then get a train or Waterloo, or, or Waterloo. Well, whatever. I can't. It's Waterloo. so long ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's probably all the whole networks have changed yeah, by this. Slam door trains. We were bombing trains on the way down there. Mm. You know, and I remember the driver coming out of his cab and get, one of my friends getting caught going, "What are you doing?" You know, because they had no perception of what graph was. Mm. Now, you know, even your granny knows what graffiti is and yeah, tagging, yeah. tagging is, and, and stop that graffiti. Stop writing. You know, no one had a clue. Then. That's that's mad, isn't it? When you think about it in contextualizing what you're what you're saying being that there were there were more abiding people that had no clue what not graffiti was and what he was doing not at all i mean even in even Mad. in yards you get you know i don't know i because i don't i haven't paid a train in so long it's you know it's just it's, it's you know we're talking another world. how long well, how long like, last time i paid the train was probably very early 90s okay so we're talking so yeah a long time yeah, yeah. <laughs> a long time when i was a youngster um you know you get a oi yeah, thank you very much. Mm. You know, but now I don't know how they would do it. I guess they'd sneak up on you because no, no, oh, it gives you a, you know, a head start of getting away. Yeah. So you were going to Croydon. You were on your way to Croydon, get some parts. Yeah, yeah well, and I'd be bombing trains. Yeah. So, you know, and, and, and that's where the kind of BMX graph thing crossed over and eventually graffiti won. 
Because yeah. all the time I was BMXing, hip hop was there music wise. You know, people were breaking around the flats. You know, I remember going to see Beat Street. I remember going to see, uh, was it Breaking? Yeah. I can't, you know. Malcolm McLaren era. Yeah, I remember that. I, yeah. remember, I remember not seeing Wild Style, but I remember it coming out. I remember on uh, morning TV, they used to have a BMX section for about five minutes and them doing tricks, but to old electro music. You know, was that, um, that was, was that ITV? I could have been. I oh, can't, mate. I, that rings... Oh no, no, they were the BMX bi-weekly trick team. Man, that rings real distant bells in my head. I, I think I remember da, 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 to rock it, which would have been a massive song at the time, or tunes. Um, but all that, and it was always there and because I was shit at all that. You know, yeah, like, yeah. but like writing, I was like, oh, and and. We came easy. It's like, well, would you just write my name. Just write, yeah. just write, write, write. And the more you write, obviously, the better your hand style got. Um, Which, but I might add at this point, I've already had a few tags being dropped. I'm just like, yo, your hand style, man, it's iconic. Uh, I mean, it goes yeah. with the. You know, the, you know, the, you know it's, it, no, it's nice that people compliment on it, me on That's it, because, great. Because, but, you know, to be fair, if I didn't get, have a good hand style, It'd be pretty bad because I wrote my name a hell of a lot. So if I didn't get my yeah, yeah, yeah. get around, no, you know, they would defeat the 5, object. 000, Five thousand tags in, it's still shit. It's like you know, I need to start again. <laughs> you know, never mind ten thousand down the line. Because yeah. you, you know, to, to, all to, of us old school. If we had a pound, not even a pound. If we had a, if we had ten pence for each tag we'd done, we'd be rich men, rich, rich men. Oh, yeah. You know, some uh, writers are doing that now. I might add, uh, you know, <laughs> come hey, hey. <laughs> this is the real, this is the real industry. I know, I don't understand it. I've got because I've got. I've got no concept of graph and money, mm. you know, and I know it's a real industry now and anyone who's making money about fair play to them, mm -hmm. you know? For sure, for sure. Because I have to just paint houses for it, for everything to say, you know. But, um, so, where were we? Uh, graph BMX crossing over. Yeah. Um, so it was music as well, like, so it all went there. hand in hand. Yeah, and, and, but, but, but music thing. records cost money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, and I weren't working. Mm. So... I mean, they were a lot cheaper then, don't get me wrong, but I didn't, and I was constantly, my ears were open. Mm. People were showing me breaks and showing me, it was the record covers that you would remember. Mm. You could know, ah, oh, I don't know what that is, but I know there's something on it, I remember that cover. Do you remember back in the day, the fucking heavy metal rock and roll album covers and how artistic they Oh, looked? what, the Iron Maiden ones? Yeah, yeah. You know, I all remember, those ones. All I remember, specifically the Iron Maiden ones, because I remember the posters they used to have in Woolies, I know, but I remember them cuffing fucking out. Eddie, the character. Yeah, and but all it that, was yeah. never kind of um, part of my music thing. But I do remember them. I'm thinking, well, there's a lot of work gone into that. Yeah. You know, it wasn't just kind of because now it's all about the glossy photo of the person who's singing or the the artist mm. themselves. Mm. There's no real. It's just a photo of the artist. But mm. then there was real artwork. You look at all the Funkadelic covers. Funkadelic. Oh my gosh, it's yeah. insane. It's just like insane. You know, Levels. can you draw something for me? For yeah, right. I'm just gonna go off and. To take a trip and just yeah. draw. It's like, yeah, yeah. whoa. And, the, and remember, I mean, it, it carries on through into 90s rave and the flyer culture. And yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah. But at that time, like you were saying, even before the rock and roll heavy metal art designs, that Funkadelic stuff, they weren't pulling any punches. That stuff no, was I, funky. I mean, someone will what? know who done the artist. I can't recall the name off the top of my head, but I've got and a the lot Cheech, of them. And the Cheech comics. And oh, the, you loved know. all that. That was another thing. You were racking your Cheech and Chongs. Not Cheech and Chong, shush. The, the Cheech Wizard and all yeah. that, and, and you know, the Vaughan Bodes. And, you yeah, know, man, hold tight. Uh, you know, I've, all that, that's part of my hip-hop collection. All that's yeah. in my hip-hop collection as well. It's just like, Mate, you know, when imaginary. I die, my kids are going to be like, what is all this shit? He's got fucking weird comics. He's got records. He's Look, got I'm, I'm gonna just graph go, books. Just like, and I just want to say this at this point again, just as a juncture, mm -hmm. we are talking about history today. That should be in a fucking museum. That will be well, in a museum. When I die. <laughs> has to be like... There's, there, I mean, there's cultural museums that are being pulled out of the bag in London, left, right and centre. Yeah, you know. yeah. I mean, you know, I just kind of... Because I still love hip-hop and I still love graph, you know, not as I'm, I'm doing nothing in, in either scene apart from just buying loads of records, um, I still buy as many graph books as I can because I love it. It kind of connects me with part of my past that I was proud to be part of. How many uh, graph mags do you think you've got? A graph mags, I don't know, because I've got some that are boxed. I even looked at that for people, but I must have. Ooh, I reckon at least a hundred and fifty books, graph wise. I've just kind of buy them, you know, because it, 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 you know, remember it was only Subway Art initially. Then I think I got Getting Up, yeah. and then there was Spray Can Art, and that yeah. was it. Yeah, and then I cut started seeing people. 
showing graph books, posting graph books on, on, on um, social media. And I was like, you know what? I've got a bit more money now. Uh, I want to kind of read about the history and see more than just those three books. Yeah. And again, because of my obsessive nature, I had to have more, more, more. I've got the Dondi book, you know, I've got the scene book, you know, um, which is, I know, it goes for, I know, but it goes what? for fortune now, but I, got, I pre-ordered it, you know, and I'll, I buy stuff on another, oh yeah, you know, I've got a bit of money this month, I'll have three books, you know, yeah. and, but like buying records, yeah, I'll have, you know, I just, I just, I'm obsessive, I'm a, I'm a collector. How many records you got? I must have about, well, conservatively about 7,000. How many sneakers you got? Uh, about, conservatively about 20 pairs, probably 25 on Mrs. Going, you got, don't need them more trainers. You know what, the Mrs. are always quick on the old sneaker ones. To be fair, they don't like no, no, too no, many of them. Like me, you, you buying another <laughs> record? You don't need another. Re any. Records they can stomach in a weird mm, way. Yes, they can. Oh, that's a nice tune. Yeah, well, you know, if I weren't buying them. And big up all the wives as well that are collectors. Husbands can be very much the same as well. Yeah, no, I, see, I'm, sure. not, I'm quite happy. Like, you know, you want to spend spending what you want. But I'm not out there generally... In the pub, yeah, 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 just getting smashed out of my brains, mm. you know. Yes, occasionally I have my moments, we all do, <laughs> but generally speaking, I go to work, come home, and I don't smoke, I don't really drink at home. You know, I'm now such a wanker, I might have a glass of wine with me at, at, at the weekend, and yeah, that's, yeah. that's it, really. On trend, on trend, see, yeah, but it's, so what know, do you get? You, um, this is a little segue, we will get back into the history, but I'm more interested from a from a B Boy's point of view, so have you got a man cave? Is it a man cave you got? You know what? I'm lucky because we've managed to move into a, a, a big place um, through the housing carp. Um, and in the dining room, like you've got the table in the middle. I know the dining room's such a wanker. Hold tight, dining room. room. <laughs> <laughs> I've got. Look at my dining room. I've got I, I one know, too. What I'm saying is like, because uh, we just, we just, you know, my, my missus has done a lot of work for, with the housing co op and we managed to get to a bigger place because of the amount of kids we got. Brilliant, yeah. Anyway. Got a small living room and dining room, but the table's in the middle, and along one wall is my is my is, uh, my, my IKEA Expedits. You know, oh, the, the OGs, yeah. Expedit, full of records. If you know, you and know. Then, and then the other Expedit, and then there's the decks on top. So that's kind of my man cave oh, with all my graph books along the top. Me. And and now and now she's told me we're going to put the table in the back room. I'm like, yeah, that means it's really going to be my man cave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can have all my sneakers on the top, all my graph books on the shelf. I could just go in there and just shut the door and just. Live it. <laughs> Crafty, but richly deserved. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I get told off by the kids sometimes. I'm playing juice. They're like, Dad, turn I'm like, yeah. I should be the old man. In the yeah, house. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I can't. I'm on my laptop. I can't hear. I'm like, fuck. Hell. Do you think there's some uh, there's some play in this that I, and I definitely have it where I suddenly get myself something that I've never been able to a afford as a kid or b wanted so badly but because I was into something else at the time like you would have been in BMX and so mm. isn't it good that what you're of an age where you're like you know what, I'm gonna fucking buy that yeah 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 again that's you know certainly with the trainers I could only afford well I only ever have one pair of trainers at a time same here so to be able so to be able to have two. <laughs> Or three, three? or yeah. four, four, yeah. four. And I remember kids having trainers, mm. like f duplicate pairs of trainers at, at school. And I'm thinking, how the fucking hell do you afford that? Yeah, 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 yeah. That always used to bug and baffle like, me. How the fuck? Yeah. But you know, turns out they were all keeping hold of their lunch money. That's what was Well, like. possibly, or, or, or they were working, or they were nicking them, or whatever, because, you know, things were a lot easier to yeah, take easy, them, yeah. you know. Um, but I couldn't understand it. And, and with record, I, I mean, I love music. I love, I, I love the feel of records, you know, the the smell, if that's, mm. and just, the, they're just tangible, you know, you can, you know, you can put it on and, and you hear it and, and mm. off it goes, mm. you know, I just, I mean, I do listen to stuff on, on YouTube and I do listen to stuff on all these podcast things and, but unless it's coming through a real speaker system, I was just like, it don't sound the same. I don't know how these, don't, yeah, tinny, I, I tinny, tinny, you. I can't sound it. But I remember. The warmth isn't there. No, the, I remember as a kid. Yeah. They, you remember they stare them, um, GLC all day of things and used to have the, the community centre would have like well soul to soul I didn't know they were soul to soul at the time they weren't keep on moving so they were just a sound system they sound come system, around, yeah. around, the, around the flats and they played music all day and it just it, something must have underlyingly really hit with me and I was you know how are they doing that what's that you know and so when was this how old this would have been about I'm sure someone from Soul to Soul will correct me, but this must have been about 83, 84. Do as early as that? Boy. Yeah, I mean, they, they had a, as they say, how old it is, they had a big bouncy castle around the flat and it was massive. Well, I say massive, it felt, it must have been about five foot off the floor 
and it was just a big platform. There was no edges. So if you fell off, you fell off. And all the big kids, which was were bouncing like yeah. nutters on it. And soul to soul were there and playing music. God knows what they were playing. I couldn't tell you one tune. But, but it, it resonated. Must have made yeah. an, a, 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 it must have sparked something in me. And I loved it, you know. And here, I met, I tell you another story. One New Year's Eve, we were in Farringdon, surprise, surprise. And I won't name names, but who was with me. And all I could hear was, from the warehouse party, it was on Bobby Birds, I know you got sold. It was about 89, it was New Year's Eve. And some other writer, can I mention? No, I yeah, meant, no, 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 He come round the front of the train, he didn't come in with us, come in like that, like, like God, like, ha, oh. <laughs> We're like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> and they go, oh, it's so-and-so. Yeah. So that was a mad experience. So like, you know, what happens is you connect, booming system. yeah, and you connect the music with the moment, and that moment just stays with you forever, yeah, doesn't it? I remember it? Um, being at primary school, mm. and a female teacher at the time said, "The way boys, males remember instances in their life will be um, what was going on football wise, or what was going on music wise, and everything, good and bad memories." I can remember for a tune. That's amazing. Oh, like, you know, like, I think of Summer of 89, Keep On Moving, and I think, fucking, that was such a good song. Yeah, you know, I can was... remember the weather, who I was hanging with, where we were painting. Yeah, man. You know, or, you know, just just mad shit. But, like, you know, ask me socially, really, it was like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> It's actually funny, isn't it, that, I mean, what we and contrary to what you just said there, like, your your accounts on things thus in this conversation thus far is just like, yo, you must have had a lot of tunes stored up through your memory because these are moments in time which a lot of people wouldn't remember. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I have, but, you know, um, because I was really into the music, like, when I discovered something, I wanted to know about it, so people would play me breaks, but I remember the whole, well, I was late to it, but the rare groove thing and and and, mm. and 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 tunes kicking off and going, oh, that tune's so bad. And the hip hop tunes at the time, mm. not necessarily having having the money to own them or buy them. But I remember kind of you know I remember um, the JB's the Grunt, mm. and I was on the dole at the time, and it was a fiver at Quaff Records when Quaff Records was on Stroud Green Road in Finchley Park, and this was after Public Enemy had used it. So this would have been at 87. Wow. And that was yeah. five for a seven. That was a lot of the time. You look at the price on Discord now, you're like, how much? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and uh, with the guy upstairs, DJ Def, we would go to record fairs when I was working then and buying copies of um, the Jackson Sisters, I Believe in Miracles, for three quid. And be, just being aware and having good influences music-wise with friends and, 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 and constantly listening to Kiss FM when Kiss FM was good mm -hmm. or when it was pirate, mm. you know, and, and just being... Wanting to, wanting to learn, listen to Mike Allen, you know, listen yeah. to Dave Pierce on a Monday night, listening to Westwood a bit. In fact, listening to those radio shows. They were like your beacons of information, weren't they? Yeah, but probably saved um, London Transport thousands. Because, just because oh, I'm not going out to Westwood, I'm not going out to, I'm listening to Fish yeah, Mike yeah, Allen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? You know, whereas other writers yeah. were out there, they were out yeah. there, you know, yeah. and so, you know, so. They've saved London Transport thousand. Probably could have saved me a prison sentence. Who knows? You know, <laughs> yeah. Who can guess? You're at home and not in the wrong place. Yeah, like take, time, take so. you know, pause. You know, the yeah, pause yeah. cassette nonsense. Legendary shit. Legendary. Yeah, you know, mm. now you just go on YouTube. Yeah, I want to listen. To, uh, I'm bored off. I want to switch. Then you had to wait whether you liked it or not. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, um, a night when we got, it was a night we got raided. Was it eighty nine, in Farringdon, and. Car 138 had just been to, to some yard the other night and he was like, no, I'm not going in. He kept, he kept watch on the wall. Hmm. He got nicked. He got nicked? He got nicked. We got raided. He had nothing on him. He got off with the case, hmm. like, thankfully. And there would have been me, Noise, Shoe, Imp, C's, and we, we got chased. Imp got caught and grasped everyone up. This is when found an, um, I think Shoe ended up down somewhere in a, um, what's that fucking bridge? Blackfriars, mm -hmm. noise ended up in a skip covered in coffee and shit. And there's a there's a piece he done afterwards which he gives a shout out to the police dog because the dog sniffing because it's the coffee and he can't smell nothing. Yeah, yeah, but he's sniffing around the, sniffing around his <laughs> skip and they, he was underneath all his shit and the police couldn't see him because mm. the torch was and the dog kind of knew he was there. But he gave a shout out to the dog in one of his later pieces <laughs> and I went straight out the scaffold over the wall, walked up the road, got a two seven nine bus home, got home and they were. Um, playing the recording of 
um, Public Enemy when they played in 87. I got home, bosh, it was on straight tape it, there you go. And meanwhile, everyone's, you know, like the Warriors trying to get home. Dude, this is just crazy. <laughs> like, I, I mean, like, you know, that story alone, it's like, you're, um, and if you ha- haven't clocked by now, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Excel is always on. This is, this is, it, when he's asleep, he's asleep, when he's awake, he's yeah, like, yeah, as you I'm say. Like, you know, he's like, Bling. yeah, so, me in. You're, it seems to me, that your personality is driven by something else. Your 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 oh. energy is driven by something else. And you, you at that time you were just like living b boyism, and yeah, you were just doing shit. So. It's, it's kind of weird that you would just go from your attention to be I'm on the I'm on the track, so I'm having to run. I get off the track, so I get home. Oh look, there's something was, on play. It, press play. It, it <laughs> was pure, like, I, I mean, it was oh. great, it was a great coincidence. I was like, because <laughs> you know, I thought I'm home. I know, let's put the radio on. Oh, wicked! Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? That's amazing. It's like but, that's the uh, that's the that's the uh, ideal. Like the when, bee- the, when the planets are lined, yeah, yeah. the b boy in me is like <laughs> my b boy in me is like I want that. That's me. That sounds yeah. good. I'll have a bit of that. But I, lo- I loved, you know, I kind of I guess because uh, still at that time, I embraced all the elements. Couldn't do hardly anything, but the music I loved and the paint. I mean, you know, the painting was a full time was a full time cr- job. Uh, you know. I would became unemployed, but you know I was still out every day racking on the line every night. Yeah, actually, let, let's just go back. Up, stick with that. That th- this this. I don't want to tail off too much. Between eighty six to eighty nine, and you're talking about that that, that oh, Farrington. Yeah. Well, so so when was when, was that was this like the the beginnings of something really like um, prolif- prolific? Just, I guess because also graph is very very addictive. Mm. Like, I've had my my my, my fair share of. Um, indulging in substances, but ain't nothing as addictive as graph. Mm. You know, why it, do you think that is, Excel? What, what because was I guess it's 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 for me. It was definitely sticking two fingers up at society, but even more so. So my fingers are not there. They're not there. They're like bang, and they're bang in your face, and even more in your face. So far mm. in your face, I'm nearly down your throat. Mm-hmm. The more and more I see, and the reward, and it's a bit like a sport. In, in some respects, you kind of you get away. The more you get away with, the more you want to get away with. Mm. You know, mm. so the more you can get away, the more you want to get away with. Does that make you cocksure? Does it make you quite does, does, within does it... within graph? Yeah, definitely. Mm. Um, but you know, um, otherwise, I guess it kind of helped me discover who I was and 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 who did you become? Who did you? Well, I guess because you know I was this kind of shy kid around the flat who kind of knew a lot of people, got on with people, but was. Not the butt of the jokes, but got bullied a little bit. Hmm. Um, wasn't quite sure in himself of who he really was. But Graf made me go, no, actually, no, this is you. Come on, stand up. This is what you believe in. This is what you, you speak your mind. Be honest. Because also, I was fearless of the police. You know, I might have been, I might have been shit scared of some writers hmm. or people around the flats when I was younger. But the police, I was like, I don't give a fuck. What can you... Because I guess because they're confined by conventions of law, even though we know that they've, you know... People have disappeared or come to harm in custody. Yeah. I didn't have that fear, you know, but I never had that fear at school with teachers. I'd be like, fuck off, you can't do that really? to me. So the authoritative thing was nothing. I really had, yeah, I think I've always had a thing with authority. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. um, so I guess as well that with Graf, that was also a big thing for became me. became your law, it became people's, your people's law. Yeah, you know, and I was always respectful of writers. I'd like to think I was. I'm sure there were people who say otherwise. Um, and places of worship mm. and private private vehicles, but vans, public vehicles, buses, trains, you know, public spaces. Is that a code, by the way? Is that um, a code of? of I wouldn't, you, I wouldn't, you wouldn't do like it. to say. Um, it might have been. It might have been an old. Might be an old thing. Mm. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but I didn't because it's like you know, it's not fair for me to you know to desecrate someone's place of worship, or, or a gravestone or something like. It just mm. kind of feels a bit. Resp- Bit disrespectful, um, even though I'm not really religious at all. It's about respect for someone else's belief, or, mm. or you know, it's there's, just, a princi- there's a principle there. Yeah, yeah. And I would, tr- yeah, and I wouldn't. I try not to go over people's peace. I guess the kind of you know, don't tag on someone's peace. You know, those things. Those yeah. kind of, that kind of yeah. um, thing. But yeah, I just it was just how I was, you know. Um, Sticking in the 86 to 89 era, talk to me about the trains, the stations, Farringdon was your spot. Talk to me about... 
stations, there was no CCTV. Right. So see, no CCTV meant that very quickly stations got battered. But you would, you know, I, I was, with, I was with a lot of liars, but predominantly initially with, with car 138. And we would decide we'd go out on a line. And we'd go on that line and we'd meet up with other writers who we didn't know, but we'd get to meet people and we would stay on that line. And as I said earlier, I would have stayed on the Big Met a lot longer, but I got nicked. So mm-hmm. it weren't fair for me to bring one So then we went to the Northern Line, we were like Sham, Colt, um, Devil, uh, all them SAF writers mm. on the Northern. Because we'd also, Northern yeah, up we'd, to top, top to the bottom, wasn't it? You know? Yeah, then we go up to the kind of uh, Edgware branch or the High Barnet branch, mm. and there was no one about. So you batter, you batter stations. You know, you, you just go up and down, you know, where we lived in Fringy Park. You couldn't do Fringy Park, it was too busy. Mm. Like Arsenal, Holloway Road, Cali. Mm. All them. We just Bakerloo, we do Bakerloo, Central we do it a little bit. You know, we just kinda of went around each line and just did all of, and we would do yards on different lines. And I think from what I've been told, because North London didn't really have its yards like your big Matt had their yards, you mm. know, the, the kind of Grove boys had their yards. Um up in e- East London they had their kind of Central line yards. Mm. We didn't really have, we had found them, but no one had kind of worked out how to get in there yet. Mm. We were going yards all over the place and just discovering how to get in and, uh, and, and how to get in and get out of and get away with it, you know, and just kind of, and also moving about meant that I guess the authorities didn't really know who or where we were because mm. we would go, you know, but once you kind of hit Farrandham, we'd become pretty regular and pretty obvious. Um, so it was, and also it was a bit more adventure when you're kind of, you know, going all over the place and, and discovering new paint, paint plots, mm-hmm. um, yards, lines, doing insides, doing doing stations. You know, it, it's just good fun. It was, you know, mm-hmm. some people were going down the pub. You know, we were spending all, all evening on the shitty Northern Line, mm-hmm. you know, or the Central Line or the Big Met or, you know, coming yeah. home covered in dust, getting the last train home and yeah. doing it all again the following day. You must have. I mean, again, I wasn't there. I was a very, very young, young man, and not from London. So I can only ask this naively: How impactful did that all city, that 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 notion of well, I we're going to loads of different places. How quickly did the energy for you, and the and the and the crew you were rolling with, all the guys? How how long how long until that really really began building momentum? Um, as as quite those quickly yards, because. Yeah. As much as, as much as I was in New Wave and um, there were writers like Noise and Amorai and, and uh, Amaze too, uh, they were on a different level. But working, writing with people like when I was writing with Carl 138, yeah. we were constantly trying to outdo each other. Yeah. So never mind the rest of Graf so society. So it was competitive. Absolutely. I mean, the... you know, there was, there was a... Um, we had a thing at Holloway Road... Um, if you look, if you look across the tracks, there everyone there's like a panel, and our thing was right. We need to get a tag on every panel. Now it took us a while, but we were like, yeah. And then we had another thing where there was a bench, and we try and get a tag higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. Till we were like, mm, ah, with mm, the pen, you know, mm. finger, you know. So that, you know, and we're constantly, oh, I can fit a tag there. Oh, well, I can fit a tag there. Well, I can fit, you know, getting on buses and and just kind of within the space of a minute before the bus had even left the stop, you know, the back of the seat, the side of the seat. Behind you, you know, the window, the, 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 the angle bit of the ceiling, the ceiling, right, you know, shuffling around, just kind of... I've seen the pictures. Big up B-Boy documents as well, my people's... Oh, he's, he's got some fantastic bus pictures, which yeah. nobody has got. No one's or, got. Well, very few people. Yeah, I know. And there were so, especially, South, well, a lot of buses, but especially South London buses. Mm. I think it was the, the clash of the black ink and the yellow... Mm. <laughs> uh, and they can clean properly, but they were destroyed. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But again, we went. South These are London. the eras that I rem- when I see those photos. I think that's what I'm. Those are the places my head goes to when you're talking. I'm thinking of those kind of pictures. Those around kind the of elephant. Th- yeah. Oh, it's destroyed. Yeah. Destroyed. But they couldn't. I think who was it? I said. I think it's maybe Merck. Hearing him telling the story of how he met a South London wire, and they would put up one. Sly little tag because it was there were so many, but we get like right go do 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 go mad. They'd be like, what are you doing? Well, bombing. No 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 no, we don't do it like that. Okay, really? Yeah, I mean you know different code of conduct because I guess we I guess because South was so bombed, 
and it was done by so many writers, we felt we needed to kind of up our game mm. and to try and compete with them. And we just thought, you know, no matter how bombed and all London buses were, and we got them to a stage, but never like South London, mm. we really had to put the effort in. Mm. Really had to put the effort in. Mm. You know? Aggress aggressive. Yeah, it, you know. Mm. Never mind the carrot and the stick, I don't know. It, 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 more than that, we just had to really hit hard. Yeah. It was all, and it was always about hitting hard, really. You know, and I always had a thing about not making it easy for the cleaners to clean off. So windows were, one, they were out of, because it was too easy to clean off, and two, it was obvious what had been going on straight away, whereas panels, mm. stain, far easier, and uh, and certainly roofs, when you come to the big mets, they were lovely painted white, mm. love, beautiful, perfectly painted ceilings. So you're going to clean it off, so all that shit's going to run down your arm because no one had PPE in them days. So they just you know, wouldn't do it. They wouldn't tr clean yeah, it off no, no, as well. So they, they would make a, a half-assed attempt. Yeah. So, you know, you're like, yep, that's a good I, I remember those... I remember them days vaguely, and I used to love the way... The, t the tags would be, you know, partially purpley, creamy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they tried to well, scrub I'm, it off. I'm and talking shit. about the days before fibbins. Right, fibbins yeah, yeah. was like, whoa, that's amazing. Like, yeah, who yeah. discovered that? Yeah, 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 you yeah, know? yeah. Because yeah. we were, I mean, you're talking edding ink, flow master, yeah, um, pilot ink. Maybe I'm just trying mm. to think of the bottles. We, you know, anything we could get our hand on. But whoever went, let's go down this shoe dye. Route. It's like, whoa, man, that's like, Game that's like evolution. Shit. Like, you know, you know <laughs> that thing there's a potato. Look, why don't you cook it and mash it? Really? Whoa, that's just like, <laughs> come on, man. Like, yeah. Hold on, hold on. You've really <laughs> taken us forward. Yeah, yeah. You know, we had no idea. You this guy's, oh, he's lost the fucking plot. Yeah, like, what do you, what do you want to cook? I know like, it's great, raw. It's great. No, 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 no. Come with me. We're gonna cook this shit. Yeah, no, dude. You know, just took it forward. You know, because I remember the ice free. This is when the little Ooh. mats had the, the glass panels in between them, and you sat opposite each other. It weren't yeah, 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 yeah. The kind of the length of the train, and he would do a. Um, I remember specifically at weekends, obviously, um, and because he had a throat, it was just a. It was like an egg, basically, with a free two lines, and mm. he would do every glass panel within. The inside of one of one carriage, fucking hell! You know, but it's just yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet it would look better. But my thing was like, yeah, I want to batter the insides, but I don't want people to know I've battered it until you're on there and the doors are closed. Mm. And the because the Grove writers couldn't. Well, talking to Kane one, he didn't get how you know us North London writers were destroying the insides of the Little Met because we weren't going down there. And they're like, well, how the fuck are they doing mm. it? But the five minutes from Allgate East to Whitechapel was like, on your marks, get set, go. Fun house, all in a fun. Yeah. And, you know, you could take That's it amazing. a carriage in five minutes. Oh, yeah. And also you'd have to know, you know, and I had my, um, I had my routine. I'd hit the tops of the doors, the bottoms of the doors, and the side panels, and the same on the reverse. And then you go to the next section of doors. And then there were three sections of doors and the fronts and backs of each carriage. That's Because cool. there was no glass between the carriages. So you had them two panels as well. And the door that went through them. So I'd have my... Wow. You know, like I had a system. Even then you had a system. Like, you had a OCD. system. OCDs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think, I mean, without question, OCD lies in a lot of graph writers. Without question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean... I just, it just, uniformity, uniformity. Mm. Mm. not just randomly seeing my name, mm. seeing it everywhere you, oh God, you know, so I'm kind of drilling it into your mm. head, mm. you know, you know, like subliminal advertising mm. is, is drilled into your head without knowing, it. yeah, I will go and get a Costa because mm. I've been fed this thing that I need to drink Costa coffee, yeah. you know, all the subliminal advertising of, you know, the cups and all that, you know, yeah, 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 example, yeah. Or, or boots or, Whatever else, I don't know, I can't think. But, you know, no, so right. I was doing my own and I was doing it for me and I was doing it for free. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Um, so uh, your time with Carl, going to different plots, doing different uh, yards, getting to know the area, um, paint spots, etc. What happened then? Then what was the next phase in your in your graph um, journey? I'm trying to think, God. I guess I got a job. <laughs> I guess I got a job and I couldn't write as much. So job gave me money. Money gave me uh, um, the reason to spend it all on records. But mm. I would still, I'd still go bombing 
when I was going record shopping, so, mm -hmm. but I'd be going further out. Mm -hmm. So less of the graph, but more record buying. And just, you know, I used to work in a warehouse um, and it was up Stroud Green Road in Finsbury Park and there'll be a record shop, Footprints Record Shop, if anyone remembers it, in Finsbury Park opposite the station place. Yeah, I do, actually, I do, yeah. Very small, yeah. tiny little shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tiny. And I would get, I'd get paid on a lunchtime on a Friday and I would do... Probably half my money then, like walking down, because I didn't need no food because I'd go home for lunch. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'd probably do another quarter of my money on the Saturday going around all the shops that I could mm -hmm. locate and all over the place. And that was it. And and going... That up, so I'd get up doing that and I'd only go yards if we did arrange to go yards. So kind of my graph, graph inside had kind of eased off a little bit. Mm. I'd maybe got burnt out or whatever or... I'd become addicted with the music and record mm. buying, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so that kind of took over, really. And it, and eventually, the record side took over completely, mm -hmm. you know. And I do remember, where were we? Or what were we coming back from? I was with Cliff. And it must have been some kind of meet-up. So I, this would have been... I'd kind of stopped. So let's say it, would D, it was DDS years and I was going to football... Hmm. And was your and Cliff went, oh, go and put a tag. I went, no, 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 bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. But no, 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 go on, go on, go on. No, no, no. All right, do, 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 do. You know, they went, oh, calm down. I'm like, well, I told you. <laughs> but I do remember one instance, <laughs> and this was kind of late nineties. So oh, I hadn't written for ages. I was out in a pub in, in the Dublin Castle in oh, Camden, yeah. one of my favourite with, pubs with, with Sub and with Rain Man. <laughs> Um, and I kind of knew Rain Man a little bit. I've known Sub since he was... Old tight Rain Man, old tight Sub. Yeah, <laughs> big up. And mm. um, Rain Man was going, oh, go on, just put a couple of tags up. No, 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 no. So half a dozen pints in, I've gone, oh, okay. And I've gone down the toilets. And as soon as I've gone, you only go down the stairs, I'm like, bam, 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 bam. The whole corridor, bam, bam, into the men's toilets. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, God. And then, you know, we went, oh, come on, we're going to leave now. And they went, oh, leave, you fucked up the toilets. I'm like, well, you know. Yeah, yeah, I told you not to. You pushed the, the button. Yeah, so we've gone down. They're starting to, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're bombing going down the parkway. And at the bottom of the parkway, you've got a junction where you go left towards Chalk Farm or you go over to get the 29 outside Sainsbury's mm -hmm, back to mm -hmm. Finsbury Park. Mm -hmm. They've turned left. Within 30 seconds, they've got nicked. And I've gone straight forward. And they went, oh, it's all your fault. We got nicked. I went, listen, I told you. <laughs> I told you. But you insisted, you insisted, you insisted. And we'd had a bit of whatever, you know, and, mm. and it was just like, I can't be held responsible. Mm. I can't be held responsible. I told you, I gave you pre-warning. So it was like a trigger in your head, just like, it's got to be, it's got to be, you've got to pepper the shit out of everything. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's no point otherwise. What's the Unleash point? the shells. What's, what's the point of, you know, like, I guess it's like carpet bombing. What's the point of just, you know, you know, if you... <laughs> Just putting one tag up here, there, and everywhere, you know. And I know it's different for older writers now when they piece because, you know, they don't have the time and it's it's a whole different ball game. But, you know, how lot, you know, if I'd have just been putting one tag up once a day or mm. once every, in a blue moon or every so often during the day, I still wouldn't have got to where I, the amount of tags up in that short period of time if I was doing it now. Yeah. You know, it's kind of about, and I remember as well, other writers, Coming out, and you're not coming out in that respect, but coming out and like, you know, whoa, have you seen so-and-so? They're up, boom. Mm. You know, because you'd have to make that impact. It was a sudden You want impact. people to say that, don't you? Yeah, you, you had to, to make people about make you. an impact. Right. You know, I remember... Um, okay. What, what was it? Was series? And what was the crew? RCS. RCS, yeah. When they yeah. first... And I was like, who Woo! are these boys? Bang, yeah. massacre and series. Yeah, yeah. They were everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, it was yeah. just like, bang. So, okay, so, um, New Wave. Let's let's make that let's make a definitive chapter on New Wave. Right. Um tell me about that. Tell me about the inception. Tell me about the, the that that whose whose crew was it? Who, New how? Wave was a crew which consisted of Noise, or at the time when I'm Noise, Amariah, and Amaze Two. There and someone will probably tell me there was others as well, um, which is fine. There was another guy, John, um, but I can't remember what he wrote. He wrote kind of a different tag every week. Um and I was introduced to them by Carl. Um, I think we met 
a Covent or something. I can't remember on the train, but mm. I do remember, seem to remember bombing an inside. A noise at the time I was like, who is this guy? He's a bit of a toy. You know, like, I was like, okay. Charming. You know, yeah, thanks. But, you know, it's, um, uh, uh, I must have grown him because he, he must have seen the uh, potential, shall mm, we say, of mm. me advertising his brand. Mm, well, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and I got brought into New Wave with Carl, I think, um, at the time. And then later on joined uh, Carl 138, which was joined and, and and then kind of left or was asked to leave. Um, then the bus one was in it. Dash was in it. Great writer. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't really do much, but a really good writer, really right. good hand style, nice piecing style. Mm-hmm. Um, and sh- and obviously the legendary Shoe too, mm-hmm. who was local. So we kind of got, and we just did a lot, a lot of stuff. We we did a lot of first. Well, for that, Noise had a piece, a stainer piece on the Big Met, which he said he did in car paint. And this was about 80, 80... I remember seeing the stain in about 86. So them lot were going Ricky early doors. Really? Because you know, like, they got... They must... I think they met cast in th- at three corners and said, oh, can you, know, can you take us to Yards, whatever? Yeah. And he said, yeah, meet me, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. You know, this was before I'm, I knew him. So I'm just guessing what happened. And they were going Yards already when I met them by 86. Um and this thing and then you know it just kind of evolved from from when us meeting them we were doing our own thing because we were from a different part of Islington um, and we would do a lot more buses a lot more bombing a lot more um, train stations a lot more uh, insides um, but we'd meet up at the weekends and, and they would and we would do yards two or three yards at the weekend. Mm. Um, cause uh, you know, they were a lot, they were, well, I say they were a lot younger. They were still at school. Um, and, and noise. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. They weren't like 13. I think they were kind of, what was it when I was fourth years, fifth years. So yeah. what's that year? 10, year 11. Is that how they describe it now? I don't know. That's I can't what, but that's what I'm saying about graph writers back then. Like you guys were pioneering some shit at such a young age. It's, 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 well, everything it's, was new. Everything was new. Crazy. You know? I, I'm, I'm sure I remember, and again, I could be wrong, when we discovered, fit, you know, um, Smooth Right or Ham Right, you know, I remember <laughs> that the only pink you could get was a Belton's pink mm. that was sold, well, I say sold, I don't know if they ever actually sold any cans, <laughs> <laughs> Rally 2 on Holloway Road and another auto case shop, uh, paint shop in Archway, I can't remember what, what was it called? like? What was the paint like? Well, it, was, it was it was good paint. Was it, yeah. Auto K and Belton's were good paint. They were the better of the kind of car paints, shall we say? Not like Duplicolor or Car Plan. Yeah. Um, and then I, I I remember who I don't know who discovered it or how it came into play. But then Homestar was big. All the pastel colors they were great, and that was great paint. I loved it. And obviously Bunt Lack. Yeah. But you know, I mean, how anyone did anything when it was. Just car paint is beyond me. It was like water. That, that's kind of what blows my mind. It's that the, 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 the use of the the technical and and creative use of you know materials that were pretty fucking watered down. And yeah, and also the kind of the pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I do remember I mixed this, pressure, right? It wasn't always. Well, it was every can was different. You yeah. Know? Well, every brand was different. I guess the pressure in in all the Beltons was the same. In all the auto cars was the same. In the Bunts was all the same. But the nozzles were, you know, there was just standard nozzles. You know, I mean, you'd use a bunt neck nozzle more for comfort than anything on your thumb um, or your finger. But um, there was no, you know, I was going through it with um, Bus One the other day. You go, when you went out, you kind of, you, you judged your outline, you know, mm. right now it's it. You couldn't just go, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh, how can you do? There'd have been yeah, tricks yeah, everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, the quality of product was awful paint wise, really. With the pr- certainly with regards to pressure in cans, but it took practice to get you to, to yeah. But you know, that. you couldn't just go, you know. But you had you do your I'm trying to think your base fill with maybe a home a paint that would cover like a home style. Um, you'd outline in hammerite, hmm. and you'd you know like nice little colours you might get from car paint because they already had a painted surface to go on. It was okay, hmm. but yeah, the the product was not very good. <laughs> But then, and this is something I brought up before. I mean, with with that 
end of the spectrum being of, of, a, of a time where the products were tough, but it was really easy to get into places. Yeah. It's kind of had a role reversal now. It's a lot more harder to get into places, but you've got all this kind of quality products. Yeah, but you have to buy it. But yeah, but I mean, I, yeah, no, I, wouldn't, swap it. I wouldn't swap it for the world. I mean, no. you know... Big respect out to anyone who's out there painting trains now, because you know it's it's a different. You know, we would go in. You could be loud. You jump over a fence that was probably four foot high. I mean, not every yard, but you know it was. Um, there'd be no security. There'd be no cameras. There'd be no um, laser beams. C- curiously, curiously, at this point, I might just ask. Uh, Queens Park uh, uh, Yard. Did you used to climb through the window to get get yep, into it? Yep. I, and How I the used fuck to, did you do that? Because I was I was a skinnier fucker than I am now, and, and more flexible. That's I used mad. to go with noise. I don't even think I might do the odd tag, and I might do an odd frut. But I wasn't. I was just. I come let you. I'll go with you. I come let's go. So we jumped over. You jump over the wall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you go across the BR tracks. Yeah. And there'd be a little window, probably. Two Small. foot square, two foot square that will flip on an axis. Yeah, that's it. So you'd have half of that to get through. So it's probably about that. Yeah. By that. And you managed to get in. Yeah. It. Sneak in, quiet as a mouse. You know, uh, but if we'd have got a ch- we'd have been fucked. You, you barely get one person. No, out that's of it. right, yeah. Then mind two people. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. You know, Impossible. No way you're getting nicked. So again, just to relay on the times and where the way it was, you had a lot more freedom. It's a d- yeah, d- d- yeah, because d- d- yeah, yeah. there was no such thing as security. Yeah. You know, at best, you know, a guard might be coming or a train driver might be coming to mm. start his shift and pulling his train out. Mm. You know, also, oi, mm. thank you very much. Mm-hmm. I'm off now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, mm. you know, there was no kind of, we've seen on CCTV, we're going to watch them, we're going to, you know. Mm. But then uh, saying that, I remember regularly getting stopped on on uh, on the underground by transport police. Oi, you, Lee, you, Lee Croft and these three, get off now. Really? They t- said your name oh, and everything? Oh, yeah, they knew, yeah. They knew me. Uh, that would have been... That would have been... That's uh, looking mad. What was his name? Well, they just they could just tell by your silhouette. They, no, they look. knew me because we were coming from Carnival. This is one instance. I'm dead. That's too and much. And <laughs> it was Barker, Bunyan. And who was the other one? He got retired. He got busted up ribs. I'd like to think he got beat up at some, uh, uh, you know, police in some kind of football event. But hey, because yeah. he was a real fucker. Um, Chard... You know, but pulled me off the train, and and I and I said, look, I can't have anything on me. I can't have anything on me because mm. they will know me. And he went, no, 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 you're right, you're right. I went, trust me. Yeah. They know me. Pulled us off at King's Cross. Checked me up and down. Didn't find nothing. Checked shoe. Clipped a tiny. It was like a, a small tin of paint. Yeah. Clipped it. Went, What's this then? Oh, and they let us go. Wow. But I got stopped by Montgomery and King's Cross. They wouldn't because they knew me. They knew me, so I avoided all that kind this of... This just sounds like some mad cat and mad... I mean, now... That was, like... that was part of the fun as well. Like, yeah, because yeah, like, now, at that stage, it was like, you know who I am, mm. you know what I write, you know where I live, and you know what I'm doing, because you can see it, because you because they were taking photos of everything for evidence, you know? Mm. But you can't... Bec- I don't know how the law is now, but at that point, you couldn't... Unless you caught me committing mm. the act, mm. you couldn't do nothing. And I guess for its time, because again, we're talking retrospect here. It's, like you say, it's very, it could well be different now. But um, you're not going to stop you. So what, no, what are you going to do? What no, are they going to no, do? They, no, start, what's no. the thing that they're going to do that will totally derail anything that you're in, where your yeah, intentions yeah. are? Yeah, and you had wouldn't... so long, so long in yards. Mm. Like, uh, uh, from memory, last thing I remember people saying, oh, you get about 20 minutes. Mm. Just, 20 minutes? I'm still having a laugh and a joke then. <laughs> You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's just like it's like my first we, first beer. What's going on? Yeah, it's just like you know. But we would be in there for hours. Really? Hours. Like two, three hours would not be unheard of. Not in the slightest. Mm. You know, if I think we were in there for an hour, that'd be like oh, we're in a bit of a, what are we rushing for? Mm. I remember Christmas Day, Christmas Day '89. The legendary Drax Robbo whole train window oh, down. Shit. Yeah. 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 Well, me and Shu. Well, I was like, right, we're going to do this. We're going to do it. Right, okay. So we planned and we walked from Finsbury Park to M- Moorgate. Right? What? But we went from Drayton Park through the tunnel yeah. all the way to Moorgate. So we're like, yeah, we're here. No one's here. We're underground. We've got... And we get on a fucking, and there's a whole fucking train from one end to the other. Luckily, New Wave got a shout and, you know, but it was like, fucking hell. They beat us. <laughs> fucking hell. You know, like, so we went around the other side. We'd done a top to yeah. whole car. 
Mad. We went through Barbican. We hit. We smashed the fuck out of Barbican. We went to to Farringdon. We done a piece each on a train there. We smashed the trains there, and we were. I had a head bag. Remember the old head yeah, bag? Old school, yeah, of course. Full of paint still. Rattle, rattle, rattle. All the way down. Like, all, and we were walking. We were battering Farringdon Station, and we got chased from there. We'd already done an eight hour an eight hour shift. Jesus. And we were if Jesus. we hadn't got chased, we were going to keep going as far as we could till we ran out of paint. So we could, in theory, have got out at Edgware Road yeah. or beyond. Who knows? No fear. But no, it's just like we're going to paint till we finish. No fear at all. Ah, you know, but you know, but we got found. You know, I remember quick go. You can hear the keys in the lock. What the fuck? What the fuck? At Farringdon Station. Ran down here, the dogs chased us, up scaffolding we went, down scaffolding we went, all them buildings on the left hand side as you're going towards King's Cross, yep. none of them were there. Really? You know, the, the, the ledge, uh, you know, I had to uh, jump down, shoe had gone, I was like, oh, mate, if I get caught now. I'm fucked. Proper fucked, because I'd You've already, already, been, done I'd already yeah. been inside and I was kind of caught red handed. Yeah. I think I dropped the head bag, head bag full of paint on the side. How many times have you been inside? I've been inside. Three times, but once was sentenced, I got caught tagging on. So on, was this when it was legal. sentenced? Was this after the sentenced one? That no, you no, were... yeah, this would have been. This would have. Been, this was eighty nine. So right. I, this was. I got caught quite early. Eighty six, yeah. eighty six, eighty 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 seven. It was because I spent my eighteenth birthday inside. Right. Um, but it was only a couple of weeks in Ollie's Bay. But it's more of a pain in the ass. It's like yeah. this is the most boring thing in the entire really? of mankind. See, try, try this at home, kids. You know, it was just like it's boring. Fucking hell, so low. And I guess you know, being older now, I'm realizing that most a lot of the population have got learning difficulties and social issues. You're like no wonder because they were all doing my fucking head in. <laughs> like they are fucking. And it was up in <laughs> Ipswich. So where's that? That's. Uh, East Anglia way, isn't it? Yeah, but I was like, these thick country bumpkin cunts. You know? And I know, like, you know, not everyone is, but at the time, that was my mentality. And then I got out again, and I come out, I got trained back through uh, Liverpool Street, keeping in mind I was banned from the underground at the time. Mm. Went to a paint shop that those that remember was was just off Liverpool Street Station, racked a load of home style, whoa, whoa. was b- bombing the platform of Liverpool Street in paint on my way home. I hadn't even got home yet. You know, and then within a week, getting nicked again in Woodford because Max ITC, I think he was in ITC, got caught with an axe that we'd nicked from a hardware shop. I had paint and we got nicked on the platform with Woodford. Yeah, I just, he was a nutter, but proper funny. Wow. Um, But because I was banned from London Underground and I got nicked on the Underground, I got put on remand for a week in Ashford. I'm like, hold on, but he had a fucking axe. Yeah, yeah, I had yeah. a few pens and a couple of cans of paint. It did never make sense to me. This is where this is where <laughs> the law is an ass. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> and another time, I got I was waiting on charges for something or other, and or going waiting for trial, and they put me on remand in Brixton, um, and it was all a bit of a kind of a daze because. Within 24 hours, they went, prisoner, such and such and such and such. Um, and I was like, uh, yeah, uh, I, get, I don't know what number or whatever. Uh, you, you, your, your sureties have come up. My man's put up £500 of sureties for me and I got out on bail. So I had, you know, normal bail. Mm-hmm. But I never kind of did a long sentence, right. like months and months and months, like cast or tilt mm. or comb, comb and tilt did or any of the other ones. What those cats like back in the day, were they sound? Yeah, they, I mean, you know... I, I still speak highly of Comb and Tilt, who I met at the time. All them... Legends, yeah. Absolute legends. A cast. Wow. You know, uh, people were getting four months, and that was when you were only getting a third remission. So you were doing, what, two and a half? Yeah. Um, they were great. They were just... I guess, because we were young, all of us were young, and you were just all in it together. It was like, fuck the system, hmm. you know? Uh, going, things, going to UK fresh and bombing, and, you know, wanting to be part of... We were part of a movement. Hmm. But we had no idea how long would last. So, mm. and again, being young, you live for today, don't you? Yeah. You like did. my kids, you can't. You tell them something today, they can't remember tomorrow. What you're saying? Yeah. So, you're living, you're living in the moment. Mm. So, kind of every tag, every piece, every yard, you're, it could be the last one. Talk to me about criminal damage. What the crew? Mm-hmm. Mm. When I met criminal damage, they were insane. This was probably, a, as I said, eighty six. Mm. So, how old the crew was, I couldn't tell you. Um, but there was Sabo, there was Right One, there was Sirius, there was, um, God, I could get this wrong now, but there was um, Tilt, mm-hmm. Kiss 42 maybe, mm-hmm. Coma. I met all them people. And you would, me and, me and Carl and Fred were going to the Big Met, and you would kind of see this 
group, and it must have been about 20 writers, sorry if I've missed anyone out, um, would just kind of swarm a carriage, on a, an empty carriage on a train at Harrow on the Hill, and it would go off to maybe Uxbridge or wherever else it was going, north or northwest, and just obliterate a carriage, two carriages, and then get off and go back. And it was just, we were like, fucking hell. Mm. No wonder they called themselves criminal damage. <laughs> You know, it was just like it was like a swarm of of, of wasps or bees <laughs> in the carry. <laughs> off to a, a, a station or two stations there. Get on another train, and they would do this all night long. Mad all night long and destroy because there was Shocking. no one wow. on the trains, and there probably isn't now at those times because people commute. Mm. And after the commuter hours, I say eight o'clock, you got gaps. Yeah. Well, there's there's. Who's, who's yeah. using the train? Yeah. People out there have got money, so they got cars, so they're driving. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. They're yeah. not. I'm, I'm just going to go and see. It's f- there for one reason. It's commuting yeah. for work and things yeah, and like that. And it goes right out. Yeah. If you think how far Harrow is, never mind how far Uxbridge is. Oh, Mill Hill, or Rickmansworth, there, or there. anywhere yeah. like that was out so there. far. No one was using the train. You know, going um, east on on the, on the central one. No one was using them no. after they come back from work. Well, I'm home from work now. No. As soon as you go Pubs past local, anywhere past. Paddington or those main kind of junk. Yeah, down, yeah. down on Grove. Goes, yeah, dead, yeah. dead. After eight o'clock, it was dead. Uh, Any line, it was dead. So, you know, but specifically, the big, it blew me away. It was just like, whoa. Because there were so many of them. And it was kind of so obvious as well, mm. what they were doing. Whereas on other lines, there'll be pockets of maybe, at best, half a dozen writers. Mm. Maybe twos and threes, different pockets of twos and threes. Mm. But on the big, it was like, they were going mob-handed. Really? Yeah, mob-handed. And it was just like... Not saying they wanted to start trouble, but there was enough of them to kind of mm. stand up if anyone tried anything. Mm-hmm. You know, it wasn't just one or two lads brightening on the insides. It was, you know, a good dozen. Mad. At, at minimum. Crazy. You know, so what kind of... Safety in numbers, isn't it? Really? Yeah, absolutely. You know, and they would go yards mm. in, in that kind of amount of numbers. Crazy. You know, and we were going like half a dozen of us at best. Shh, 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 shh. You know, mm. <laughs> like they were like, nope, pop, pop, pop. Not their own line, and fair play to them, yeah. They, and they destroyed that line. Boy. And again, it was a real eye opener. So uh, yeah, look, we're on this journey now. Historical reference points, more writers, and more crews of that time. Give me more. Give, let's get a, let's get a real uh, kind right. of mental picture of like other cruise, original, cruise, yeah. original initial crews would have been like London Giants, which was Creative Arts, oh, um, Southeast Vandals, yep. Nonstop, All Day, um, Hellraisers, um, No Limits. No limits, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, locally, there would have been, I said, New Wave, there would have been Eye Catchers. 147, which we discovered yeah. coming northwest, Bakerloo, and all, you know, discovered Old them. Fest, Chico. Um, I can't really think of the crews that were Grove side, but the ro- writers like Foam, Gunja, Rio, of course, yeah. Ice Free, um, <gasps> K Demo, um, so many. Um, ITC with Rev and Fuel and all that lot down yeah. there, them side. Uh-huh. Um, AEW, all, all World Experts. Um, I can't think of a central line. This is, and this is predating um, <coughs> uh, We Rock Hard or WRH. Remember uh-huh. them when yeah. they kind of formed? Hold tight. When it was just Robbo Ooh. and Doze. Yeah. P, PIC, hold later. tight, PIC, come on. Um, uh, <laughs> where, where, uh, Drax, when it was pre-TDK, but remember TDK coming and kind of yeah. forming and dis, dis Big dis shout to Drax every um, fucking time. When Ro- Robert, no, it's not Robert, Doze and Rees were in a crew for a very small time, TA, the artist or the art, I can't remember. Doze will tell you better than me. TU <coughs> coming into play. I remember TU. Yeah. I remember them kind of, well, I don't know if they appeared, or I discovered them <laughs> because I wouldn't say that I was before them or they come after me, but it's kind of the evolution of where you're traveling to and discovering new people in new areas, mm. as it was with the 147 lot. Mm. Um, but, th- but this is again, this is, this is part of the journey of a writer. Traveling, yeah, you're yeah. traveling all the South London writers, but I can't remember what crews there were. I remember Sh- obviously Sham, mm. um, but all of them were hanging down there. Um, 
Just, just so many. Just big shout to Mean, of course. Of course, yeah. All them. So, I mean, if there's names I've forgotten, I do apologise. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we were so just throwing them out. I'm we're, so old, I can't remember. But it's really nice to have somebody again that. I mean, God, I mean, talk about documenting. You're really dropping some fucking science here. I remember meeting, very meeting Mint once, but only once. Bombing once with Gunja. Mm. You know, um, Rush, as I said. You know, I remember. You know, first time I met Demo. You know, he was in the back carriage. I can't remember who he was with. Of a little met, I went to step into little met. Me and my clumsy self, you know, fell into the train like don't mm. tripped. I was like, oh mate, bad entrance. You know what? Actually, I, I must show you this. It's on my phone for those of you that are, are listening and not watching. Um, <coughs> I'm gonna no, no, let me just get this because um, B Boy Documents did send it to me, and uh, he he wanted me to show you. On the premise that it's Chico one one four seven, and in the top left of this photo, wow, bloody is, hell, yeah, that's, an, that's an old, old school XL, XL, XL tag, an XL tag. Fucking hell, yeah. that really is. Yeah, yeah. so it's a it's a it's a picture. Wow, that's is that lowercase writer. e? Yeah, that's really old. Really old. Really, old. really yeah. old. That was kind of yeah, probably one of the first times I went to Grove. Yeah, it's Grove. Yeah, it's no, no, Grove. no, it's the pub. As you can, yeah, yeah. what's it called, the Westbourne or? Or the railway, yeah, just or round by the. So you come out yeah, the station, right. turn right, right again down yeah, the alley. Yeah. The stunk of piss. So the picture, just so you're listening and not watching. So it's a picture of Chico One Four Seven, um, a, a, old school legend around these parts of Northwest. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a wall background full of full of tags and uh, uh, well, what's that? Mid eighties, like eighty. This has got to be eighty five, eighty six. That's it. And uh, yeah, there's an XL tag. <laughs> but the reason mad. I put it so high. Yeah. Was because it, the rest of it was packed. Mm. So whether that had stayed, and they buffed the others because I know that that was constantly getting painted, mm. repainted, and painted, and being hit and hit mm. over and over again. You, you know how they, they might have been off from just leaving it. Mm. But you know my thing was because there was no space high, high, mm. and there's tags of a similar nature all around the three corners. The first time yeah. Carl took me, I was like, well, you know, I've got to get my name, so I'm gonna mm. where above where the areas were to piece. There was a small angled stone or whatever, and then the uh, iron railings. I'd put and I put my tag above every space. So anyone had done a piece there, later on, my tag would be in their photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they're near, yeah, exactly. And then that becomes a new mode of like uh, getting. Yeah, your name and this was with the lowercase e, and this and it's all lowercase letters, I think. Mm. And then it kind of went uh, into that kind of mad yeah. e like that. Anyone who knows or remembers will. Re- I think I've seen there's a tag in the three corners book at the beginning on the on the three corners. No, this is school's book you can catch, right? Yeah, it's a fantastic school, yeah. book. I Big mean, up school. It's, fun, it's great. Mm. I, you know, I've just got one recently. <laughs> I was a bit skint after Christmas for the kids, anyway. <laughs> I don't uh, believe it. This is the this is the book collector, man. You, yeah, <laughs> I, know, I was like, please you don't. You your eye on it from the jump. I did. I was like, oh, <laughs> don't sell out, don't sell out, please. You don't want that for Christmas. And darling. then it you became do, kind you, of the capital <laughs> E. That everyone knows me for, and I kind of yeah. dropped the five hundred two because mm. it was just long. I mean, I, you know, because yeah, I but was... then when you think of the five hundred two, that you know, the old school five hundred two on the train, man. Like yeah, but I used legendary... to write five hundred two. I used to sometimes if I didn't have time to write an XL tag, yeah. I'd just put a 502. That's what I'm saying. 502, like, 502, 502. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so classic shit. You yeah. know, because everyone had a number then. Yeah, but that was partly because. All we knew was what we'd seen from Subway Art, Barbara and Eva 62, yeah, you yeah. know, all that kind of um, tacky 183. We didn't know any different. I know, like, you know, and you and you think now, no no one has a number. I missed the numbers. Numbers but, are sick. I love them. It's, it's extra time. It's time. Ain't got time. Ain't got time. Ain't got time. Excel is, Excel, I mean, you got, you, you, you got it good. It's a fucking banging name and the way it's written. Like you say, the E, I mean... It, it's, X is a bit of a shit. <laughs> it's, it's a toughie. Yeah. It's a toughie. But as an entire name, do you know what I mean? It's unforgettable. Like some of the biggest names, and whether it's Eggs, Banksy, or fucking, I don't know, Sham. Like you remember the names. These are, it, 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 the name sticks out, doesn't it? Well, yeah. Thank, well, I must have done something right. Mm. But I rem- when I first met Rush, jumping back, and I'm mm. jumping, yeah, yeah, cool, I cool. was writing Fear. And even you can't write that. I was like, okay. <laughs> like you know, like I'm not sure why I can't write that, but okay, I'll think of something else. And I kind of just do Excel. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of positive and trying, and it kind of yeah. Let's go with that. And, it's, and an, that it, it. it's an energy. That's the difference. It's yeah. when you hear Excel, it's like well, you're there to Excel. Yeah, and, also, and also I think, I think um, LL Cool J's Rock the Bells was out at the time, so you know I Excel. You know 
So that was like, oh. yeah, you know. So, and, and, and numerous DJ friends of mine, you know, I'd run, they'd be cutting it up. I'd be like, yeah, all right, all right, give it a rest. Like, <laughs> embarrassing. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but secretly loved it again. Yeah, that's me. That's yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Oh, man. I mean, it, it just, the, the era, the era, the, the, that golden era. I, I can only imagine what you what you had gone through and the fucking turn of events and the way that you hit and hammered hard and m- t- turned that name into reality, excelling on all counts. Fucking mad. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was just, um, it was a great time to be alive, you know. Any regrets? Any mm, Regrets? Hmm. Didn't do enough. Hmm. Didn't do enough. Wish I'd done way more trains. Wish I'd gone yards at least every other night. Really? And been on the line every day, yeah. Kind of like, you know, like people go, oh, you know, that, that, you hear about all these famous pop stars who were doing cocaine for three or four days, you know, and not sleeping. Well, I wish I'd have done that with Graf because, you know, I was a lazy... In that respect, I was a lazy fucker because I'd very rarely do all-nighters. Mm. I'd like to do an early... I'd do an early shift in the yard, so I'd go into my bed. I love my bed, mm-hmm. you know, but I wish I'd have really, really pushed it. But... Because is is it? I, I always hear the stories like you know, you, without sounding naff, because it is obviously isn't always the case. I could, yeah. mm. <laughs> There's people that will testify to this, but you know, you're only young once. Kind of analogy. Yeah. Is that? Yeah, yeah. Of, I mean, I guess that's why I look through the whole thing with rose tinted glasses. But I wish I'd have done more, and I wish, not that I that I, I didn't enjoy it at the time, but I wish I'd have we'd have part we'd have smoked less, because getting stoned. And trying to be motivated is quite difficult. Mm. So I, I wonder, you know, how much more motivated we would have been, mm. you know, because kind of after, what about, what about 88, 89, we kind of got more into smoking than writing. And that was kind of, yeah, let's just go around Sanzo's ass and get a draw and, you know, let's go and start smoking, yeah, yeah, and we'll bomb all the way there and we'll bomb there. But it weren't like, no, let's go out on the line, let's go out on the line. No, 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 no right. we, should, we should be out on the line. You know, we've got a schedule to keep, you know, so like, yeah. you know, got to go to work, got to go to work, got to mm. go to work. You know? Nah, man, let's just get stoned. And, you know, it's like, mm. it became caught of like, it's, it was part of the exercise of an evening rather than the priority. Yeah. Well, it, well before then, it was, it was, it was, it was, um, uh, sort of, not all, it was, sell them you know not not every night mm. you know so it was kind of harder to motivate yourself you know because certainly when i was working it's like i get home mm. i guess you have a spliff and da, 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 da. but you know but really i wish i'd have just been like no but you wanted to you wanted you were young you wanted to try things you know so you did yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know we would have done even more and i wish that the beef that was out, I imagine the, all the kind of beef, however bad it was between different crews, we didn't particularly have it that bad. We'd have been a bit more united because we could have got the system absolutely fucked. Right, so you think that they, if you come if together... We'd have been more kind of, you know, right, okay, right, so this mm. lot, the weekend, like Monday night, for example, because they're not expecting it. Right, you go there, we'll go here, you'll go there. We could, you know, you think about all the stuff that happened at Christmas because mm. people were hitting different yards at Christmas. If we'd have done that, on a regular basis for about a month, all the different crews in London, all the different areas, we'd have brought the system very quickly down to its knees. Because mm. there was, wow. you know... Yeah. I mean, the thing in the Grand book... I'll pick up Grand. Yeah, absolutely. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Yo, anyway. yo, yo. We can't leave this book. No, 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 no. The thing that I read in this yeah, book, yeah, yeah, yeah. which I still haven't read properly, shame on me, is that he found this stuff with Cheney. He went, no, we're not going to do anything. So we're going to pour this shit down the drain. And he poured, I don't know how many tubs it was, you can find out in his book, down the drain, this cleaning solution. And I remember that period of time when a lot of shit was running. So if we'd all had that mentality, mm. like, this is what it is, let's get rid of the fucking lot, and then for the next month, let's batter the fuck out of the system. Because obviously this stuff takes time to produce yeah. and to be sent, and, you know. Wow. If we'd have been that unified, because mm. you think of Regimented, the... like regimented. Yeah, right. you know. But if we'd have done that we'd have, you know think how well the dds era mm. how things were running mm. oh yeah you know that kind of <coughs> whatever is it a key, vis, what's kilo's video i don't know a visual uh well visual graphics the, yeah, yeah still that. injection yeah and you see the lot of stuff running you think fucking hell you know we could have done that yeah. but i guess we laid the kind of foundations for that i mean you know it yeah. is what it is you really did you really did <laughs> 
Yeah. And, and it's, it's podcasts like this that I think, you know, getting the stories out and getting the, the timelines correct and the tapestry that, 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 that comes with. Because without the, the, the groundwork that you guys and ever, that aforementioned, everyone that we've talked about here, without that groundwork, there is no podcast. There's no fucking suppose, yeah. things happening. Yeah. There's no... Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Well, who? I guess someone else would have done it, mm. but... Because it was so, imagine if 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 only a few of us had done it of, of my generation, and they the, the the authorities had caught up very quickly and locked it down quicker than they did. Mm. It would have been harder for other generations, but because Definitely. my generation did it so hard, and kind of also there were a lot of young, you know, when I think if I was sixteen when I started, there were writers who were twelve and thirteen coming so up they, behind you. <clears throat> well, they were they were coming up with us, or, or or literally not. Um, not behind us, as in you know, a long way behind, like like in, not even like up our asses. They were so close, in like in 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 <laughs> in, in coming through. Wow. Yeah, we went yards, they went yards. Fuck knows how they reached the train, because you know some of the trains could be quite big. I was a lanky fucker, so mm-hmm. you know, but you know, so they, and they kind of I guess they passed it on and the story of how to get in and all that. So by the time it got to the nineties, it was harder to do, but people knew it could be done and knew it had been done, and were more. You know, mm. I, I kind of honed their skills to speed. Mm. You know, wow, yeah. So I'm like totally like <laughs> I am totally engrossed. It's fucking like what where my head just went there was was just thinking this whole conversation has, and I don't think I've had a conversation like this where it's literally all about trains. We've literally only talked about trains in this episode. Yeah, I wasn't. I'm, I wasn't, and probably not that interested in walls. It was just like. Again, it's the whole New York thing. It's, got, it's all about trains. Yeah, yeah. All about trains. All about and again, I just you bombing know, and all about trains. I can only you know reinforce what I just said. It's like without you mm. putting that the compass on things and sticking to a moral principle of such. Yeah, thing. You know what I mean, it's like <laughs> yeah, yeah. the principles yeah, no, are. Yeah. This is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose. Yeah, because go we, hard or shit or go off the pot. Well, basically. we got we got it direct from New York, and you know, it wasn't diluted. You know, as much as we might have got some things wrong, we knew that it was from seeing Star Wars. It was all about trains, and it was all about racking, and it was all about hip hop, and it that, but it, not necessarily that that was the true story. But that's how we got it. We mm. got it as the package. And we wanted to kind of be as authentic as 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 possible, mm-hmm. you know. And 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 if you can do it, we can do it. Or if, mm. or if you can do it, I can do it. You know. Mm. You know. And it was relatively. That's kind of the easy. message that was crossed over, wasn't it? It was almost like, hey, this is this is easy. You look, you do it. It was that kind of mentality. Yeah, wasn't I mean, it? you know, I know that. Um, I wouldn't say that London and England was as oppressed as New York maybe was in the late sixties, early seventies, but we certainly had our fair set, fair share of shit. Yeah, and wanted to express ourselves and thought, yeah. well, this is the perfect avenue. <laughs> yeah, it's free, you know, and I, and I, and and I'll, and I'll have some of that, and it makes it makes me feel good, yeah. and it makes me stand out with my peers, and and, and we all stand up, and we all, we're all getting noticed, and. That's surely got to be a good thing, you know, because mm. I couldn't play a musical instrument, so I weren't going to join a band, mm-hmm. you know, and start singing songs like they're going to become the, the next Clash or anything like that, you know, because I had no, wouldn't know where to start, mm, yeah. <laughs> you know, and I certainly couldn't DJ, you know, I had about four records. I love the fact that, um, and, and again, look, big up Matt, because, you know, he, he, this has been a, a, a kind of conversation actually I had with him um, oh, not too long ago. Great guy, great guy. Yeah, he's fucking great. Um, he and loves the scene, you know. He loves it. He's absolute respect, not, enough respect for him. Absolutely. A, a great uh, spokesperson. He's he's just, the, he's just oh, yeah. the guy. And, you know, he, I think he's as excited as the rest of us about, you know, getting under the, the hood of, you know, madness and the bands that of the time were also into graph, which is when we talk about yeah. being in a band or something, you know, so a lot of people have started in graph and gone on to do music, you know, a 3D yeah, yeah, massive yeah, attack. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I remember that kind of era of the, of it was, there was getting up. People were getting up, not on a London wide scale, but people were getting up when it was that whole skinhead, rude boy, two tone era. And I remember it, you know, whether people were get how widely they were getting up. Like if it was kids in school, if they were getting up in school, they weren't just, you know, it was every desk. It was all the stairwells. It was the every classroom they went into. You know, it was the hall. They were getting up wherever they were in the small space they were getting up, they were getting up. If it was around the estate, around the, around the next estate, around a few local streets, it was getting up. It was, 
I guess it was more than just um, what no beans or what no bananas, you know, like all that kind of, and, and the political graph, which was, which would, I remember Free Perry Buckland, and all that stuff in paint, you know, was all getting done. But that kind of skinhead two-tone stuff was, certainly laid the, laid the foundations for a lot of people, even mm. if they don't know it. Mm. Mm. And it was quite, a, and it was, because it was an anti-establishment thing at the time, because of how society was, that was probably quite appealing, as was hip-hop mm. Mm. and graph and the whole kind of anti-establishment thing. Mm. No matter how, people took it in different was or was as anti-establishment as they wanted to be. Mm. Yeah, that narrative of anti-establishment then bleeds into graph, mm. which then creates that the criminal undertones and and activities outside of the graph. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there was is that, there, is that right? What? There was a lot. There was a lot of other things going on within the graph world, which. Apart, you know, like I mean, you could, you know, even if you just talk about the the, uh, the the racking of paint, you know, and the racking of other things, which we were all, well, the majority of us were doing, but all the kind of robbing and that, you know, some crews did it, some crews didn't. You know, Grove got a bit of a reputation. Oh, I never had a problem down there, mm. but it was all, it was. I, I guess they were just kind of things that were happening anyway, and people who were doing other things mm. were doing graph and were doing those things. But it was my my um, whole thing was it was me mm. against the system. Mm. So I'm not interested in robbing some other writer because mm. you're with me against the system. Mm. I'm not interested in beating you up. I'm interested in beating up the trains. I'm interested in beating up the system. I'm interested in sticking two fingers up at the way society is now and making you stop up, you know, stand up and notice me. And that was my thing. Mm. But other people had different lives, different lifestyles, different upbringings. And have been through different experiences, so I don't know why they did what they did. Mm. And being young and being fearless, I guess, was part of it. Mm. I couldn't speak for others, and I wouldn't want to. Mm. Wouldn't be my place to, you mm. know. But that fearlessness is the thing that drives I'm the whole time. Definitely fe the fearlessness. Mm. When I think of bef my life before Graf and how timid I was in comparison to after I'd wrote. What did you remember that thing? Like they, oh, they must have seen a transformation. God, I don't. I, I had no idea what they thought of me. Um, <laughs> During, I mean, I must have been a fucking nightmare. And, you know, my, my older sister, like, what's, what's he doing? Why is he doing it? What's it, you know, I bet your nicked. older sister remembers, has all the accounts. Oh, I'm sure, she, yeah. I bet she, she you knows, she's moved knows blow for blow. She'd moved out. And, I, and, and so she probably couldn't understand what was going on and why, mm. you know, and didn't kind of understand that this was my thing, you know. Mm. Um, but I don't think they even kind of really got it. Until I was getting nicked. Because I remember one time my house getting raided and my mum going, it ain't him, it ain't him all the time. What do you keep coming around here for? Ain't you, you, know, you can't prove it's him. And they went, you know, if you don't get out of our way, we're going to nick you. I went, listen, if you nick my mum, fuck, you know, hmm. I'm going to go fucking mad. Hmm. This was on a Sunday. I think my sister was round. Really? And she got married and she was living out of London. And she'd come round with my husband. They were staying with the weekend. Oh, knock, knock on the door to oh, Sarah. God. I was like, oh, no, no, in front of my sister. You know, I remember him raiding my ass when I got nicked up on Preston Road, was it Preston Road? Norfolk Park, somewhere like that, anyway. Come around at four in the morning, driving me back to my house to search my property, and then, like, going, oh, what's this then? And playing the, the tape recorder. My, I'm like, what are you doing? It's fucking four o'clock in the morning, you cunts. You know, waking up my mum and dad, like, you want to nick me, fair enough. Mm. Don't come around my ass waking up, have a bit of fucking respect, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so it was... I guess it was slightly embarrassing. I guess it was hard. I sent my mum. I turned my mum grey, not <laughs> that much. Um, uh, but I guess I don't know really. I mean, you know, I was always a naughty little sod. Always, never really into serious crime, petty crime, petty argument, petty trouble in school. Just a little fucker, <laughs> you know. <laughs> know. All the recipes, you yeah, know. you know, like all oh, the you know the kind of you know kind of the kid that were going, nah, 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 to, you know, <laughs> you know, throw the throwing the, the snowboard at the back of the teacher. Said, Who was that? Oh, you, Lee Croft, come here. You know, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was me. You know, <laughs> so I always had that kind of reputation. Never kind of the hardened thug criminal, mm. just the naughty little bastard, and that kind of 
did me quite well. Yeah, Raph yeah, really yeah, is, yeah. you know. So it's like the combination made perfect. Yeah, kind of, it made everything kind of. Yeah, I, this is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. For it all to fit perfectly. Yeah, yeah. that's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dance of tea. It's working great. <laughs> I know. It's just like you know, I couldn't have you know because I also think, what would I have done if it wasn't for graph and What do you reckon you'd have done? I don't know. Would I have been one of them boring people who went to those boring nightclubs that played 80s soul music and, you know, it was all quite safe and the kind uh, of corny chat-up lines and the, and, the, and the kind of the bad... Neon blue dance floor kind yeah, of... Yeah, just kind of really like, as opposed to... Those weird 80s programme. Yeah, you know, like, Only Falls on Horses yeah, yeah. and stuff. And Only Falls on Horses, they got those club scenes and I'm weird, like, God... Like, the... That was nothing like I remember. I didn't go clubbing because I was... You know, we had estate agents dancing, trying to pull yeah, in girls. So, yeah, and... just like really, I just didn't get all that. I just don't. I was probably like, oh, I'm not confident enough, you know. But just kind of, I'm wanting to drink cocktails and cocktails. I'm like, no, nah. I, don't really, I don't really drink, nah. you know. Like certainly them times, like, and I just kind of it didn't. I wanted to be. I didn't wanted to stand it. out, but I wanted to hide away. Mm. So kind of going to the odd warehouse party and doing that where it's all dark and, you know, no one really, you know, kind of hiding. In plain view was a lot easier and kind of. I think that's the biggest be... contradiction in graph ever that that does exist. It's it's the it's the wanting to stand out, but behind in the shadows. It's it's yeah. such a weird juxtaposition, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. A bit of a mad one. I want to be known, but don't you know? Don't kind of yeah. Um, keep, don't smother with appraisals because yeah. even now when people ask me to sign a book and I'm like really okay. yeah yeah more more than happy to. You know, like, good because oh, you're signing my book in a minute. And people, and people, and people would go, "Oh, I said," because I'm like, oh, "Yeah, that yeah. was me. That was me." Yeah, yeah, totally. Now I'm just dad, yeah. granddad. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like fucking hell. Yo, that's what's so crazy about Graph, uh, and I don't think there's any other scene like it, where there is the the the, the no. need for the attention and the praise, but doing it within the control of you. Like you don't Yeah, I mean I'm quite humble about it. I'm like, you know, people there's this kind of thing about, oh, you know, you had every little metro in the front. I'm like Actually, I didn't really. I just had quite a lot, you know. But, but there's that. But there's the kind of you know because Chinese whispers kind of thing. Yeah, the yeah urban it, myth. it always adds to, but you know, it always becomes um, exaggerated. So it's really nice, mm. and I'm but I'm not quite, yeah, okay. quite humble about it. yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I know that humble. It's it's the humble. I mean, listen, big up everyone who comes on the podcast, and uh, you know. So you didn't have to come through, bro. And the fact that you no, did... I wanted to, I've been wanting to do it for a while. It's been taking us a long while. It really has. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it's family pleasure, commitments, man. work commitments. It's always a pleasure when someone comes through and, I don't know, put some... Put some uh, ownership is the wrong... But you know what I'm saying. It's like owning that moment and being like, yo, I, yeah, I'm... I can talk about this. This is an important. I think it's good for it's good for the it. soul. I, it's good I for loved everybody. It. I loved it. I loved it. I loved yeah. it. The trouble is, I don't talk. About, I don't talk about it much. But if I do, you can't know, shut me out because it's like they would. They work. You know, every every kind of <laughs> group of adults go. Oh, I remember when we were young, the good old days. But they really were good old days, and they really were groundbreaking days. And I guess every youth culture goes that. But it's like, but we were, we were doing shit that was no one else was doing. Mm. You know, yeah, there was other fashions that have been been and gone. Um, people were doing graph before, but not to the fucking high level and the intensity mm. that we were. Mm. And just, you know, taking it, not just up a few steps, just like, you know, taking to the fucking hell. mountain. Yeah. It was like going from black and white t- TV, sorry, to um, you know, full on HD, high resolution, boom. This is like, we've just gone from this tiny little local thing, you know, Kilroy was here, to bam, all around the city, bam, all around the country, trains, jab, buses, bam, 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 bam. Yeah. We were fucking going mental. Kilroy was here. Up, you know, enlarging <laughs> the picture a thousand times, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one had done that. And the camaraderie and the, and the, uh, the, 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 the way we were kind of, Unified in standing against the system, the way the system was stacked against us, you know, the unemployment, you know, the whole kind of social, it was just incredible. And I love it, I, you know, which is why I'm, I'm still a massive fan. Mm. I'm still a fanboy. Mm. <laughs> which is beautiful. Yeah. You know? Ain't we all? <laughs> yeah. And man, it's, it's just great to hear your passion for it still. And the, I know it's surprising, isn't it? That, you it's know, fucking great. I mean, like, that's where we actually we, we miserable met. Miserable, old guy, and it's just like, but, you know, once it's like, well, no, we met. We met at the exhibition. We were talking yeah. for a good, good piece, weren't we? We were chatting. Yeah. 
Yeah. Turn away. And it's, it's only probably because I need to go to the toilet or, or someone tried to turn around and distract me. It was like, then you. Oh, it's always uh, busy in them talk, places, yeah. Talk to someone else. Yeah. Uh, 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 I think Cosa uh, came into the room and that completely changed all of it. Like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, probably, yeah. I mean, Something like that. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's just. Yeah. And then that, that's the thing as well. Right as I never even knew at the time or weren't even writing at the time. Respect me, and I think that's really nice. Uh, you know, it's like, yeah. wow, thank you. It's like, you know, being respectful to some old man across the street you don't know, but he could have been fighting in the Second World War. So, you know, he done, he done his time. It's a good point, actually. He done, he done his time, bless him, the old boy. But I don't, we don't think, well, I don't as a fan, but I, I can't speak for graph writers, obviously, but for me personally, I guess it's because you're you're the on the receiving end and you're, you're a, 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 an elder generation of the game, but... For a fan like me and other people that are fans, it's more like it's it is more like jazz. It's like you got a it's it's all the same, but it's of a different. But it's the timeline doesn't actually make too much difference. It's a funny one. Mm. It's just knowing. It's about knowing your roots. It's about knowing the the, the yeah people. yeah. Because you know I, mean? I don't know what I don't know what young writers are are, are like in general. Um, but they all seem quite respectful, mm. and I guess they've all got links to the past somehow. Um, but it's not, I mean, I was, we were obsessed with, you know, um, so, certainly musically, break beats, oh, that come from so-and-so, that come from so-and-so. Exactly, that exactly, all that. I mean, I remember my kids, my oldest kids, playing me saying, was it by, um, oh, fucking hell, what was it? Black Eyed Peas? Mm. And it was a sample, they sampled Peter Piper, Run DMC. Mm. And obviously, you know, the sample Bob Jones. Mm-hmm. I went, oh, that's that, that's that. And they went, oh, Dad, shut up. <laughs> You know, you just always get and then they let on and like, oh yeah, I'm really glad you played us that. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, that's yeah right. Well, you know, this old man knows a few things. Yeah, yeah. and it's all relative. That's the thing. It's all... yeah, because it, it it links with your world directly. Mm. But you know, I'm not just the old git who's mm. who's violent in the corner. And you've got your MP threes and or you know when I talk, you know, I do actually know what I'm talking about. Mm. Exactly. So something well. <laughs> whether it's whether it's vinyl collections or Killer Color podcast, you learn a thing or two when you're jumping, jumping in the mix and you know you learn some stuff. You know, oh, like well, there's, there's 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 you can dig into this, into these. Yeah, things. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I wish I had more time to watch more of yourself. It's yeah. just, oh, please, can, oh, I like, can I have a month off, please, of life, <laughs> and just do all the all the podcasts I want to catch up on. Bro, try editing them. <laughs> like, oh shit. God, this yeah, shit yeah. No you must be, I mean, every Ooh. time I look, there's another. I'm like, oh, I, ain't uh-huh. done, I haven't done that one. Never mind. There's that one yeah. and that one and that one and that one. Sure How, you must be like doing them, editing them, doing another. Yeah, it's, it's like constantly. S- yeah, yeah, totally, all the time, <laughs> all the time, like six to eight hours each episode. Fuck. Uh, wow. It's just mad. That's, wow. um, that's another story. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's but, you my know, podcast. That's, but that's, that's, your, that's kind of your dedication, you know, yeah. as much as we were doing eight hours a day graph. Yeah. Well, the whole mantra, the, the mental, my feelings are, well, I'm going to flood the fuck, I'm going to flood the block with this and that's it's what mine, graph yeah, writers well, do. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, absolutely. It's the, it's the same mentality. So, mentality. Yeah. Let's go then. That's more, my more the more the merrier. Exactly. You know, and, and, and even if you don't want to notice me, eventually, yeah, yeah. that little poke yeah, yeah. becomes a big push mm-hmm. and then you're like, oh, go on, I'll, I'll give one a watch. <laughs> you, know, or, you know, and then, oh, wow, that's really, I enjoy that. Yeah. Give, what else has you got? You oh, see yeah, the workings, yeah, yeah, yeah. see? Yeah, no, but it's yeah. just the same mentality. Mm, yeah. Because you know the toy tag, you see, who's that? And all of a sudden, that turns into a fucking yeah, z- fucking yeah. hell. Now they're doing whole cars. Mm-hmm. What, what happened? You know, like because you've got to start somewhere. Everyone starts somewhere. That's right. You know, and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. What Until perfect, you, what and, perfect way to fucking end. That's <laughs> working right. Bigger, better, bigger. OG, Excel five hundred two. You want to give any big ups before you? Um, oh, I mean, big up club, but you know, any anybody, um, get, yeah. anyone that I've ever met and ever wrote with, um, my family, my sister, my Kirsty, my partner, uh, my kids, Liam, Lena, okay. Sunny, Callum, my grandchild, Giovanni, um, all the new wave crew, Shoe, Sub, all DDS, um, oh, man, there's so many. Anyone, honestly, from back in the day who I wrote with. Um, Big up to you, just you know. It would you you help make me? So yeah. thank you very much. You know, beautiful, Excel. Thank you so much, my brother. How was that, people? Huh? An exercise through historical records further. That was the most amount of trains we've talked about in a while. Big shout out to you guys for listening, staying in tune. All right, loads more coming. Rapid fire, killer killer podcast. That like in was out of fashion. You stay lucky, people. Peace. Peace.